Hello, ghosties. This is Fino, and it's expansion day. I am very excited to open up some orbs tonight, to have a lot of fun tonight, and see what we can make happen tonight. Hello, ghosties. This is Fino, and tonight is the expansion of Duelist Trials of Mithron, and I'm very excited to be streaming tonight. I'm very excited to be at it. I got my bitrate correct this time, so we should have a nice clean stream coming through, and I'm very, very excited to open up a ton of orbs tonight. And they unlocked crates, which is beyond cool. I'm very excited that they listened to community feedback and they just unlocked crates for everybody. So basically, I'm gonna be just going through, I'm gonna be opening up all of my crates that I've accumulated because I've been unable to basically open them up because I don't have any keys and we're gonna open up a lot of orbs. Gonna drink some coffee. I need some gummy worms. That's the plan. So, let's do it. I haven't, I've looked at most of the cards, but I've just kind of glimpsed through the um, feed of the cards to kind of get a gist of what the new expansion looks like. So I am very excited to go through, read the new cards, talk about my initial thoughts on all of the different cards, and just have a wonderful time. Gonna be going probably for a couple of hours, I would say. I'm still currently talking to myself as of right now, so. <laughs> but yeah so let's dive right on in and let's start with the crates um i feel like the crates is where it's at gotta open up these bad crates so we got a gift crate we got an epic crate we got five rare five epic crates five rare crates and five common crates and a gift crate i think the gift crate is going to be the best crate so we're going to open up the common crates first because why not we don't have a lot of cosmetics um which is really weird i love how they kept the key animation that is fantastic that they kept the key animation. Profile icon. Oh, I love that. That is hilarious. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Next crate. Unlock. What do we got? What do we got? Dun, 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 dun. Common emote. We got a rare kitty cat icon. It's very exciting stuff right there. Very, very exciting stuff. common emote rare emote look at her she's like hmm she's very common collected in that something that i am never when i play this game <laughs> so i've been like hoarding these things forever just because i don't get enough keys because i don't do enough of really anything rare emote oh sleeping guy that is fantastic considering that I've swung toward favoring Magmar, so that's kind of interesting. Unlock! What do we got? That is fantastic. It's like the game is like, hey, don't forget about Fae. Rare crate. Rare crate. Four cosmetic items. I mean, I don't know what kind of cosmetic items we can pull out of just a few crates. What, 16 total crates? An epic emote. That is fantastic. Another epic emote. Couple commons. Wonderful. Gotta get those Magmar. Um, Magmar and Fey are the emotes that I'm looking for. Although, some of the cards I've seen, some of the newer stuff. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, he's cool looking. Epic. Look at that. Oh, not so epic. <laughs> Unlock. What do we got? Common profile. Rare profile. Common. Epic. I like how all the epics are just the general's like picture with glasses on. They're just like, yo, too cool for you. All right. No skins. I was hoping to see some skins. We did get a legendary battle map. I have never gotten a battle map. So that is pretty cool. Wink. That's cool. Winky faces are always cool i feel so unlock this bad boy Ooh, kind of creepy with the one eye there we go more of the more of the glasses it's wonderful on to the epic crates five cosmetic items i'm assuming that epic crates have a higher chance for legendaries as well i would assume the odds are increased 
That's pretty cool. That is adorable. Legendary card skin. The crowd goes wild. And we got an epic moat, which is wonderful. Unlock. Unlocking true potential. Dunk. <laughs> what do we got? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Always love blowing kisses. We got an epic card back and another legendary skin. Not Faye. I'm looking for the Faye skin. Don't take this the wrong way, duelist. But I needs it. Or legendary Magmar would be cool too. Though the legendary Faye is definitely the way to go. Legendary card skin. Pretty great. I like me some Variax. Variax. However you want to pronounce it. He's pretty, he's going to be pretty good, I think. Although, Vitruvian was arguably always very good. So, some of his cards, from what I can tell, are pretty, pretty cool. Come in. Nice. Epic. Come on, Faye. Come on, be in the box. Come on, it's going to be everybody but Faye. It's going to be. I mean, what's left? Faye and Magmar? Come on. Come on. Come on. This is why... That's not Faye, you bastards. <laughs> it's close. I'll take it. I'll take it. They did go through and actually half, from what I understand, all of the diamond cost of cosmetics, which is wonderful. So I can just probably go and buy the ones that I would still like. Orb. It just looks like a rock. The new orbs look like rocks. It's fine. I'll gladly take orbs wonderful well that is fantastic check on the friends all right so this is what everyone is here for whether you are watching the video on youtube or if you're watching it right now live you're here for the immortal orb let's open it <laughs> yeah new cards woo let's see what we get Burden of Knowledge. I actually don't know if I had that. A shiny Impervious Diago. That's pretty cool. Do one damage to enemy minion for each card in your opponent's action bar. Meh. Story Stone Minion and Bloodbound Mentor, which I actually don't think I had all of, so that's not bad. And now we're going to begin opening the orbs. 53 to begin with. Hello! How are you, Prince Kiro? Welcome to the stream. Saber Spine! Kitty! We got Kitty's big brother. I am very happy. Kitty's everywhere. That is the best. Right now, expansion's over. I got the card I wanted. We'll probably end up with like a million of them because it is a common, but I really wanted this card. Not because it's ex especially good. I think it is a good way on turn seven to potentially like seal the deal on an opponent who's already kind of low. And I can see it running a lot of different aggro decks, but... It's kitty. You gotta you gotta love the kitty cards. It's just a fact. How are you doing, Kiro? Are, are are you into the duelist world? Are you excited to see the new cards? We got life stream. Fully heal a friendly minion, then draw a copy of it from your deck. That's a pretty solid card. I mean, no matter how you want to slice it, being able to fully heal a minion and get a copy, it's card draw of your choice. That is nice. Meltwater Moose. This is a very cool looking card. It is a four cost six seven. When this minion is summoned, stun it. It's not bad. It's really not because the card takes a turn to activate anyway. So the stun could still be all right. I mean, it's a pretty good card all in all, unless it rolls two turns. If it rolls two turns, meh. We'll see. We'll see how it is if it rolls two turns. Shiny Cell Soul. Not bad. Dying Wish deal four damage to your general. Give or take. We'll find out. Three cost, four, five. It could be great in aggro decks. Um, I mean, just as long as you don't aggro yourself down first. That's where you've got the problem. Nice. Did you pull anything good, Kiro? Anything, like, really awesome that you're excited to play with? Divine Liturgy. Give all friendly minions plus attack equal to their health. Nice. Nice. I can guarantee I'm going to be opening them a lot slower. Because <laughs> I'm going to go through and read them all. I'm not sure, but I saw some new cards with a green color that a trial something. Yeah, they're they're basically quest cards from what I understand. 
Um, it's a mechanic that's actually been implemented in Hearthstone, and it's similar to the one in Hearthstone where basically you have the card and you accomplish the goal or the task that is assigned on the card text and that benefit underneath of it will then be the buff that you get permanently for the remainder of the match uh it's pretty cool i haven't seen all of them yet i'm hoping to pull some um basically you unlock you get one supposedly for like the first like chunk of orbs you open up supposedly and then every 10 after that you'll get another quest card until you've opened i think 71 orbs i think is how it works um it's pretty cool and there's only seven of them so that's it it's it's a pretty cool mechanic um you've got phoenix barrage deal three damage to anything put a phoenix fire into your action bar i don't know how i feel about this i think it costs too much the phoenix fire is going to cost the same cost as a normal phoenix fire so i don't i just don't think it's good it's a good way to get a second phoenix fire i think it just i don't know if the extra two cost is worth drawing the phoenix fire it might be um i could definitely see it being damaging to a lot of decks um but i don't know i think it's a little bit maybe a one mana extra to pull the card but it depends really what the game values card draw at with the expansion and i think previous expansions card draw seem to be valued around two mana so we'll see it, it's pretty good and you get to control you know what you're gonna get so it's not a random spell that you're pulling um demonic conversion draw a minion from your opponent's deck it gains plus one plus one i don't know how i feel about my opponent stealing my cards and then buffing them and then potentially playing them it's cool again it adds to the rng factor but it's a one one card it's a one cost card draw um with a maximum level of rng because you have literally no idea what you might pull um bolster two cost common spell intensify give friendly minions plus two health not bad it, it's gonna stack crazy high so it's gonna go two four six for two which is nuts i think vitruvian already had a card that did something similar to that where it gave all minions on the board plus card draw uh i don't know if it was anything near what this card can get to though um adam clinger shiny i like me shinies because they turn into very nice dust um or spirit whenever you equip an artifact this meaning gains plus attack equal to the artifact's cost it's pretty cool a three cost one five isn't great on paper um but the five cost cushion means that it most likely will roll over and then you could equip a four cost artifact so you could actually end up with an artifact plus buffing your minion up to a five five which isn't bad silence just wrecks this card um so there is that deep impact magmar deal one damage to a minion to reduce its health to one deal damage to a minion to reduce its health to one that's pretty cool um it's not a kill card it's a weaken it down to one card um that's pretty cool i don't know how i feel about it um although there is a lot of synergy now in the game where one damage is enough to nuke a lot of cards now so that especially with the new card inside of magmar it could be really good so that's pretty nice next our first legendary common 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 what do we got fizzling mystic this is a card that i talked about in one of my videos i don't think it's very good i think it costs way too much a four cost three three um the deal two damage i guess is really good but i don't see the restore ever being utilized um i mean a four cost three three deal two damage um is good i mean that part of the card is good it's going to allow you to deal with a lot of very early game cards and just kind of ping it i don't think the heal is ever going to be utilized um just because the damage is far better mirror room very cool card opening gambit shuffle three copies of a friendly minion into your deck that is going to be crazy with a lot of card uh decks people who want to stack the intensify ability it's going to be very nice may move an additional space well it it's that it's a three cost two five i noticed when i was looking through a lot of the cards five seems to be like the base now for a three cost minion which is pretty cool yeah mirror room is super cool like the potential with this card a a one drop two one is pretty good because i mean it's pretty good i mean it's going to trade very nicely in most stuff um fizzling mystic 
Again, I don't know how well it's going to be, but... And then the legendary is... Disciple of Yugdra. Vinar. I love Vinar. Um, it's my favorite faction, so I'm very excited. When an enemy is stunned, transform this minion into Yagdra's Veracity. Um, Yagdra's Veracity is very nice. Um, and this card should be fairly easy to proc, especially played with Ilina, the stun general. I mean... Prong block! Another legendary. Nice. What? That's just a normal draw card? I thought for sure World Core Golem was going to be like like an effect card. Like you had to do something to trigger it. It's just a drop? What? <laughs> I had no idea it was just a basic drop. Who? What? That is crazy. Wow. I imagine seeing this card in like every deck. It's like, I mean, the downsides, you can run away from it. But in like Songhai, you could just sprint the card forward. Like there's some really cool potential things to do with this card. Demonic Conversion, draw a minion from, and it's a common. What the shit, dude? Um, That's crazy. Draw a minion from your opponent's deck. It gains plus one, plus one. If this card's in Gauntlet, by the way, that's crazy. 25 damage, can't you use the one shot? Yeah, it'd kill a general. It would just nuke the general if you can trade into the general. That's crazy. How's it going, uh, Trap? I was very, very excited about the crates. I actually just opened up all of mine at the beginning of the stream. If you're curious to see what I pulled, if you missed it, the, the video is going to go up tomorrow as well on my channel. So feel free to check that out. Um... This is, this is crazy. It gets legitimately crazy. Um, I feel like Hailstone goal, uh, Hailstone, like there's, there's ways of controlling it, but I don't know. That's crazy. But yeah, I, I blasted through my crates. I got every legendary skin that I was like, didn't care anything about. I still don't have the legendary face skin that I've been complaining about forever, ever and ever. Kaido Expert. We got a 3 cost 2-2. Two, two, backstab 1. Whenever this minion backstabs, summon a minion with backstab that costs 2 or less from your deck nearby. That is a legitimate card. Um, it's going to definitely help bolster um, a lot of so uh, backstab decks. There's a lot of very low cost backstab minions. And that's going to be awesome because it's going to be very hard to deal with. And granted, you do have to backstab to make it work. But... I think this is going to be a legitimate card. Wanderlust. Intensify. Teleport one random enemy minion to a space on your starting side of the battlefield. We'll see. Could be okay. I I find it iffy to believe that it's going to be okay. Hexclaw. What the shiz are you? Uh, five cost seven two. Legendary. Dying Wish. The enemy general gains at the start of your turn. Take one damage. That is very cool because it is like... That is a crazy card. Like, crazy. Because your opponent has to play around it. If they silence it, it's no longer crazy. Um, but your opponent has to play around this card because if they kill it, they actually start hurting their general going forward. I think it's pretty cool. That's that's quite good. Next! As I, as I start getting cards, I'm not going to continue to reread cards. I'll say the name and probably roll by it. Bone Crusher, a three cost zero three for Abyssian. Intensify this minion means <laughs> this minion gains plus five attack. So that's crazy. So the first time you play it, um, each time you play it. So when you first play it, it's a five three. Second time, it's a ten three. Third time, fifteen three for three crazy it's gonna die legitimately quick they balance this card very nicely with the three hit point because most anything can trade into it and kill it um which is good i think that was a clever way of balancing a card that gains that much attack upon being played 
So that's good. That's very good. Invigoration, Magmar, Intensify, Restore 3 Health to your General. Um, it's boosted each time, so it's going to go 3 to nine, uh, three to 6 to 9. That's pretty good. It's going to replace um, the Earth Sphere. Um, I don't see people running Earth Sphere anymore. This is a much nicer, cheaper effect. You can heal yourself early on. As the game continues to roll, you can then heal yourself for a little bit more. And as you're getting toward the later game, you can heal yourself again for more. I, I think that this card is going to replace Earth Sphere. Um, Wanderlust, we've already seen. Munch. Steal health from an enemy minion for each friendly shadow creep, but not more than its health. Um, that's pretty cool. So if you flood the board with shadow creep, you can just steal health and heal yourself back up. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how viable creep decks are going to be with obliterate being pulled from the game. Um, I believe it was removed in the rotation so eh, we'll see but there are some really cool creep cards that are getting added so we'll see we've got aspect of ego um for vinar transform any minion into a random minion of the same cost could be pretty cool um it could also be really bad it's very rng um it's a good way to heal a minion so if you have a minion that is getting weak it's taking a lot of punching to the face um you could sacrifice it with this card and potentially get something a little bit better um, I don't see it getting played, though. Unless somebody really wants to make, like, a gimmicky RNG deck, which is maybe possible. We've got Orizuru. It is a 3-cost, three 3-4 three, with flying. That's pretty good. It's for Songhai, so obviously getting around the board is a very big thing for Songhai. Um, it's a pretty good card. I don't see anything wrong with this card. Uh, it's statted very nicely for what it is. So it's is it a crazy powerful card? No. But is it statted probably perfectly for what it is? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. New game type called Unranked Play in Unlimited Format. Yes! So, yeah, so basically you can build, you can play in Unlimited with any, all of the cards. They all still belong to you. They didn't, like, take away cards and stuff like that. So you could build that um, and play crazy, combina crazy combinations of cards with the entire set. So battle pets will never die in that <laughs> in that arena. Um, but if you want to continue climbing ladder in constructed format, um, where I think most of the competitive players will continue to be, um, and where terminate, ter wow, um, where you know big games will be played, that's that's going to happen over in the standard constructed. So, um, but yeah, it, it's pretty cool. We got this and this, and we got Painful Pluck, Intensify, turn one space, one random space into Shadow Creep, prioritizing spaces under enemy minions. Pretty cool. Then it's going to be two, then it's going to be three. It's a pretty cool card. It's a good way to get Creep across the board. Um, most players don't hang around on Creep, so you can rely on opponents not standing on Creep. It's going to be helpful. It's going to allow you to flood the board with Creep at a fairly cheap effect. You can really look at this card as it's going to be a one cost six creep on the board is really what you could see um, with a potential six damage. Uh, so it could be a potential uh, like six damage scattered across the board as well. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I The art on it is phenomenal. Um, I mean, it's really cool. It's got some beauty in the beast rose action going on. So props to them for that. Um, we've got Dust Drinker, which is a 2 cost 2 1 Dervish. I haven't seen this card before. Um, intensify, deal 1 damage to the enemy general, and this minion gains plus 1 health. So initially, when you play it to 2 cost 2 2, then it's going to become a 2 cost 2 3, then it's going to become a 2 cost 2 4. Um, so it doesn't stat out crazily, um, but being able to drop it and deal 1 damage, then 2 damage, then 3 damage, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's a legitimate uh, effect because then you're looking at it it's six basically it's a stacking six mana that is going to deal a total of six damage to the enemy general upon its plays and it's going to continue to be a body on the board as well um so it's it's pretty good direct damage uh we've got second self a two cost spell for songhai put an exact copy of a friendly minion into your action bar sure why not pretty cool um yeah, I mean, it's like Mirror Room, but a spell. 
um, and you get to put it in your action bar and it's exact. So if you buff the living snot out of a minion, you could put that powerful minion into your action bar. Um, it's pretty cool. You've got endless hunt. It could backfire though, because if the minion's damaged, you know, it doesn't get the heal when it rolls back into your hand. Um, endless hunt is a four cost spell for uh, Venar. Summon a three three Vesper Knight Howler. Put an endless hunt into your action bar. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, it's basically a four cost three three, and then you get another four cost three three. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think this is very good. Um, maybe if it got cheaper upon going back into your action bar. Um, again, it's a similar card to some of the other ones we've already seen where it's a guaranteed form of card draw. Um, but we've only opened like five orbs, so we gotta, we gotta get cooking. <laughs> We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Meltwater Moose, we've already seen. Aspect of Ego, Endless Hunt, Thicket Augur. Uh, it's two cost one one intensify summon one treant with provoke nearby so i talked about this card in one of my review videos for the expansion and i think this is a pretty solid card the first time it comes down it summons one treant so it's basically a two cost one one and then the treant is a one one with provoke i believe um then you play it again you get a two cost one one again on the board and then you summon two trance and then the next time you play it, you're gonna get three um i don't know how i feel about it we'll see we'll see how this card plays i'm definitely gonna try giving it a shot but i don't know if its intensifiability is good enough venar doesn't have a lot of like provoke styled control so it could be interesting to see um so yeah we'll see and then we've got wither which is a spell an enemy minion disappears at the start of your next turn it's just that simple, apparently. Vetruvian did not have nearly enough removal, um, so we're going to give them a cheaper card um, that just makes their shit disappear. Uh, it's wonderful. It's great. It's awesome. Well played, Vetruvian. It's next turn, so you could just sacrifice. You could just sacrifice the minion, um, and it's not anything new to the game. So we've got another Thicket Otter. Marching Orders is a two-cost spell for Lionar. You have friendly minions directly in front of you and behind your general plus two plus two. If they have zeal, they cannot be targeted by spells. Um, it's not bad. It's a very position oriented card, which when you really think about the faction of Lionar, the zeal effect is a very position based effect anyway. Um, and Duelist overall, I suppose, would be a very position based game. Um, so that's pretty cool uh it's it's a good card if you can stack it correctly it's a good buff um i mean i don't see anything wrong with the card meditate this card is nuts summon uh shuffle five copies of the spell you cast most recently into your deck um one of the things that i could definitely see happening with this card is meditating a meditate and then meditating a meditate and then meditating a meditate um to the point where you're just constantly drawing meditates and nuking your opponent down with direct damage spell so you equip the artifacts that deal one damage for i think it's one damage for spells cast and then you just start spamming meditates uh that could be really fun it could be really cool um i don't know if it will ramp too slowly to truly work but it's pretty cool um got another endless hunt we got gargantuan growth a four cost Ma magmar aspects card give a minion grow plus eight plus eight so i think there's a couple really good grow cards hiding in this expansion um there from what i understand has never been a truly viable grow deck that can compete and i think cards like gargantuan growth is their way of trying to say you know a grow deck would be really fun to make work so we're going to give you some more cards to just crazy grow your stuff um the downside is the prevalence of silence is just going to be able to neuter it and emp is always going to be a thing um so emp coming out is always going to just brutally kill the possibility of grow decks i think unless you go up against somebody who's not running an emp i don't think that happens very often um, especially the farther you climb in ladder most i think run emp so 
We'll see if grow decks could ever actually be a thing. We shall see. Another legendary. Oh, yeah. Another fizzling mystic. Another meltwater moose. We got wanderlust. Colfist, a common. 4-4 four, four for a 4 cost. 4-4. Four, four. Intensify. Give a random nearby friendly minion plus 2 attack this turn. That's pretty good. It's... It's a more expensive um, Primus Fist. I mean, originally, it's not quite worth the buff. A 4 cost for 4, like a 4-4 four, four for 4 is not a bad card. So the Intensify effect is really just an added bonus. Um, you could combo this card with the Flying Bird that we looked at earlier. Um, and buff the bird and then go deal some big damage to the enemy general. With the bird most likely surviving. Um... And that would be right on, like, turn three or turn two even. So, there's some cool potential with Colfist. Got a legendary. It's a neutral. Orbo! The Ostentatious! Woo! I saw this card. That is one baller helmet. 100%. I want that helmet to sit behind me. Counterplay. Make it happen. I want to buy the helmet. That is super cool. Like, legitimately. And if I can wear the helmet, more props to you. 100% awesome little guy um it's a three cost three four the stats are great those are really really good stats the opening gambit transform the cards in your action bar into random prismatic legendary cards um the prismatic part i don't really understand why that's a thing other than it's just trying to make it even more cool maybe it has to do with the helmet he's like the mini midas where he touches stuff and it turns to gold um but either way, Prismatic Legendary cards. If this was a card that, like, actually turned your stuff into Prismatic Legendary cards, that'd be even more legit. Um, you could just dust farm the shit out of this. But that's not what it does, which is really sad. But it really does just turn your whole hand into potentially crazy and wacky stuff. It really falls more into the RNG possibilities. Um, if somebody wants to try to build a crazy RNG-style deck, go for it. Um, click, 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 click 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 um air pride beak what do you do little dude you're a three cost three four so you're statted pretty well um you look like a battle pet that you know was too cool to be a battle pet so they held on to your art and you are adorable and super cute whenever your opponent casts a spell restore one health to your general i don't know how great the effect is i don't think that the most part I'd be concerned about my opponent healing themselves so minimally. Um, maybe? I I don't know. I it's statted really nice. But I don't I don't think I don't think the effect is all that great. I mean there could be some really cool um, stuff. Maybe a heal deck where if your opponent props a heal card, then It'd be a good way to help heal with that, but I don't know. Aspect of the Ego. Um, we got Beast Clad Hunter. So this is a card that I've looked at, and I was actually, like, bragging about it today at work. Like, this card is cool. It's a really cool card. Takes no damage from minions with less attack. It's a 4 cost 3, 6. 6 L 3. That's a, it's a solid statted 4 cost card. It is, it's a really good 4 cost card. And... It's not as good as some of the potential other four cost cards. You do have Lava Slasher that sits at five, but it's a golem, so it's easy enough to play. Um, but it's actually quite close to being statted minus the effect. Um, Lava Slasher is a crazy card, though, so I don't know how fair it is to compare other cards to it. But taking no damage from minions with less attack means that A, your general, the enemy general really should be the one trying to kill it, or spells are going to be another way to kill it. But. If you buff this up with any form of attack, it could it could get exponentially crazy. Putting grow on this could be really cool and wacky. Um, but again, cards with the grow effect don't stand a chance as long as EMP is so prevalent. And I don't see any reason why EMP would not continue to be prevalent. Um, and then we've got Angered Akadok. It's a minion. It's a two cost one two. Intensify. This minion gains plus one plus one. So it's a 2 cost, 2-3. Two, this is a card that I completely got wrong 100% in my review um, in the videos because I was under the impression that when you played the Intensify, it started with the native effect. So this would just be a 2 cost, 1-2. Two. 
Um, my, it was later mentioned to me that it's not how it works. It's actually when the minion gets played, the effect is boosted. So it's a two cost two, three, which is perfectly statted. Then it goes into a two cost three, four, which is crazy. And then it goes into a two cost four, five, which is nuts. And I believe makes it the most powerful to drop potentially in the game. So that's cool. And we got a cold fist, angry panda. Angry Panda. All right. Which is me whenever I see those stupid little panda cards. Um, another thicket. Another prong block. Rawr. I'm an angry looking little antelope. Marching orders. We've got ourselves Bone Crusher. Intensify this meaning gains plus five attack. Seen it. And Crater. A three cost, two, four. Statted pretty well. Um, I would have loved to have seen this card of three attack because that would have just been bonkers. Um... Opening Gambit, deal one damage to everything, including itself. Pretty cool. It's one of those cards where uh, we saw the card earlier, reduce an enemy minion's health to one. This is going to allow that to synergize with Magmar um, and manipulate the board. So it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a card I could see being played. Um, I don't know if it's better than Blazing Spines, I believe is the name of the card. Um, but it's not bad. I feel like it shouldn't hit itself. For the way it's statted, I don't think it should hit itself. Um, but it could have been just too crazy um, if that was the case. Ping, 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 ping. Got another Dust Drinker. Ooh, so many shinies. A second Cell Soul, also shiny, which is going to be nice. Aspect of Ego, Arara's Prophet. Uh, two cost, one three, Arcanist. So the fact that this is an Arcanist is very important. Um, it is a neutral arcanist. Whenever you replace a card, shuffle a brilliant plume into your deck. I don't know what brilliant plume does, but um, we'll find out. I think it's deal one damage. It does something, um, and it's a spell. So the Songhai spell deck potential is crazy. I think that Songhai arcanist could be really good. So I'm excited to see that. I'm going to eat the first gummy worm now. Another bolster. Yeah, I brought gummy worms. I've never eaten when I record. I've never eaten when I stream, I don't think. But they looked too good. And it's a it's a time to have fun. So another Wanderlust. Invigoration. Again, I think invigoration is really good. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I I feel like it's very good. Um Thicket Augur. I think this is our first epic. That we've pulled another endless hunt and whoa mitotic in mitotic induction mitotic induction whatever two cost epic summon an egg of the minion most recently summoned from your action bar that's pretty cool and it's shiny and i like the shinies that's pretty cool um being able to do that Granted, too early, it might not be great, um, but later on, that could actually be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Double epic. Look at that. What up with that? Look, 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 look. Shiny Fizzling Mystic. Um, Fenrir Berserker. Look at him. He fully transformed. Um, five cost, four, three. Not statted great. Um, Dying Wish. Summon a Fenrir Warmaster on this space. Statted wonderfully. This card is very cool. Um... I wonder if the War Master gets his effect. That would be crazy. A 5 cost 4 3 that would then turn into a free 3 cost. I think it's 2 3. It's 3 2. It's a 3 2, which then dies and turns into a 2 3, I believe. That is cool. That's a very cool card. Granted, Silence kind of takes away all the fun, and Silence leaves this at a very bad card. Um, but it's pretty cool. I actually like that. It could be a lot of fun. Another Meltwater Moose. Card that I'm not going to judge until I see how the stun actually works on it. Unless any of you guys know how the stun works. Is it like a two-turn delay before it can do anything? Or is it like a normal card that hits the board and can't do anything for a turn? Um, the stun confuses me. Um, we've got this dude. It is a four-cost, two-six. Epic. Whenever this minion is moved for any reason, draw a card. It's pretty cool. Um, it's similar to uh, the dragon for whenever this minion is moved for any reason, deal two damage, I believe, to all enemies around it. Um, 
it's pretty cool. It's a, it's not a bad card. It's a good way to get card draw. And it's statted very nicely that you could almost guarantee getting a move out of it. Um, Malicious Wisp is a card that intrigues me quite a bit. I think this is a really cool card. I think it's statted really nicely. Um, but I wish that it was a 3-4. I think if it was a 3-4, it'd be really good. Um, take a Mana Crystal from your opponent upon playing. And then when it dies, give the Mana Crystal back. So it's you could potentially rob your opponent of a Mana Crystal for a turn, maybe a couple turns. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I see it getting played. It's possible to see it played, um, but I'm not... I don't know. I don't know if I see the card getting played. We are crawling through these cards. It should speed up a lot more once we actually start pinging the cards out. Um, another Invigoration, Mirror, Painful Pluck. Just like that. This is a quick pack. Another Cell Soul, Divine Liturgy. Give all friendly minions plus attack equal to their health for six. That could be crazy. Um... That could be really crazy, especially in the heal lion R on turn six. That could be nuts. Um, or, yeah, that could be really good. No, no arguments there. I don't know what cycled out for the heal uh, lion R deck. Double legendary. Are you guys seeing this? Double legendary. I like that. Maybe there's something. Prong block. Painful pluck. Um. And yes, I'm probably going to say prong block every prong block every time I see this card because, I mean, look at him. He just looks like he's had a really rough day. It looks like that like deer that you run into on the road because he's just hopping in the dark and he survived many of those incidents and now he's prong block, the legendary deer. Legion onto him. Three cost, three two. Intensify. Put a put one Crestfallen into your action bar. Shuffle a copy of this minion into your deck. Pretty good. You're just going to be able to continuously get Crestfallens. You're going to continue to shuffle Legions. Um, you're going to hit a point where you get two Crestfallen, three Crestfallen. You're going to be shuffling always one copy. Um, it's a cool card. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what people do with this card. And we got Double Legendary. Abyssal Tormentor is crazy. Um, provoke. Your Shadow Creep deals damage equal to the number of friendly Shadow Creep. That is bonkers. The potential in this card for turn six um, really assists in creep decks. Um, you're going to be able to nuke minions using stuff like Painful Pluck, um, which theoretically on turn seven you play Abyssal Tormentor, then you drop painful pluck if you have enough creep on the board you could nuke the opponent's board like the synergy between these two cards is bonkers to me and i'm really curious to see what people pull off with it i think it's going to lead to some very very cool stuff how's it going roxas am i going too slow <laughs> swarm king scarab what up genki Oh, really? That's how it used to be? That's interesting. I didn't play back then. And we've got Swarm King Scarab. We've got Blast. Whenever this minion blasts, summon a 1 1 Scarabite with Flying and Rush in those spaces. That's bonkers. That was a legitimate card. Um, that's just cool. It's very cool. Um, yeah, and I always like dabbling Genki in um, dabbling with different decks. So an Abyssian Creep deck is definitely. Definitely not out of my wheelhouse. I'm very excited to give it a go. And I'm doing very well tonight. I'm I'm very excited to be playing cards. I'm going to be tired here in a couple hours, but that's the price you pay, right? All right. New card, new gummy. Boop, 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 boop. Invigoration. Thicket Augur. Wither. Give it. Each creep up the damage by one. Then they reached Obliterate and changed it so it stayed at one damage. Well, that's no fun. That would have made creep decks way cooler. Obliterate was crazy, but it's gone now. So, it, it, I feel like they could have potentially made creep that good again. But, yeah, I'm doing very well. And we got Gibbet, who is the cutest, craziest looking little dude. Um, it's a two goss, one, two. Whenever this enemy minion destroys that minion, 
Whenever this attacks an enemy, I'm just ignoring words. Whenever this attacks an enemy minion, destroy that minion and summon a gibbet on that space. That's crazy. That that, that could be potentially bonkers. Um, yeah, it could be crazy. I don't know how good gibbet is. The minion doesn't have to survive. That's the best part is gibbet doesn't have to survive. And he, look, he looks kind of like another card... Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'll go through, um, I already dusted, like, a legendary RAR, because I was like, I don't, I, I don't need this, um, but, Gibbet is awesome, Gibbet is super cool, I want this, it, it, I want many of these, it's crazy. Oh, whenever, it just automatically kills the minion, okay, Gibbet is crazy. I want millions of them. I want an entire deck of Gibbet. Oh, we've got the card that I can ever pronounce. I'm going to say Hyusuku. Hyusuku, I don't know. Um, talked about this in my review. I don't think this card's very good. At the end of any player's turn, give one of their minions a random buff and keyword. Um, the fact that it buffs your opponent is, again, it's going to leave a lot to RNG. Um, and it can't buff this minion. So if he manages to continuously clear your minions... This card could seriously backfire, um, but it's very cool. It's it's very cool. More Gibbet. I want lots of Gibbet. Gibbet, again, he looks like a battle pet. Just, he does. He looks like a little battle pet. Only he's not bad. Click, 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 because you get to control him. We got another Air Pride Beak, Invigoration, Bolster, Griffin Fledgling. A 3 cost 5-3. Um, that's not bad. With Zeal flying, uh, it... It's a pretty cool looking card. Uh, it's statted not so great. The fact that it only has three health makes it pretty much die to a majority of two drops. Um, so it's easily dealt with. Uh, Magmar is also going to be able to remove it fairly easily. Um, but it is a good way to clear. It's a very early play clear card for Lionar. So it could I could see this card getting run quite a bit. Um, and then you've got Gargantuan Growth, which we've already looked at. All right, what do we got here? Another painful pluck, invigoration. Yeah, the the flying makes Griffin potentially great, um, especially with some buffs. Um, Lionar could buff it, so you could play it, and it could turn out to have like seven damage. Like, it could be pretty good. Um, Metal meld. E equip a friendly artifact that was destroyed this game. If you control your artifacts very carefully. Metal Meld could be really good. It could be an incredibly en good endgame card where you could save mana by recouping a 4 or 5 cost uh, artifact. Pretty good. It could also be garbage um, if you don't have the right curve for artifacts. We'll see what happens with Metal Meld. Um, and then we've got a Rift Walker, a 4 cost 3 3 airdrop. Intensify, deal 1 damage to everything around it. So it's going to start out as a 4 cost um deal one then it's gonna go to deal two then it's gonna go to deal four um i think the card ramps up a little slowly um but i think it's pretty good i think it's pretty good it, it's a good it's like pony but it costs one less than pony um so it's not bad it's pretty cool um and we've already talked about demonic conversion What we got? Ooh, shiny purples. Look at them purples. Shiny Thicket Augur. Cryonic Potential. What are you? It's a three cost. Give an exhausted friendly minion plus six plus six. That's pretty cool. Um, There's a lot of cool potential because uh, Venar is able to reactivate its minions if they're on the opponent's side of the battlefield. Um, so Cryonic Potential could be a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, it's a good uh, Magmar, uh, not Magmar, Mechazar proc card. You drop Mechazar, Mechazar goes on the board very early on. You play Chronic Potential, the turn it goes down, um, and you hit the opponent for 10 damage, just right out the gate. Um, that could be a lot of fun, it could be very cool. Beast Cloud, we've looked at. What do we got next? Order Maw! I talked about this card in my videos, and... There were some haters. There were some haters saying Mortar Maw is not that great. I have to disagree. I think Mortar Maw is 
awesome. Whether it just comes down to the art is fantastic. I think he's in a rough spot because there are better cards than Mortar Maw, and there are worse. Like, he, he sits right in the middle. Um, but the fact that whenever this minion attacks, it also damages enemies around its target. It's incredibly hard to get Mortar Maw to proc and construct it, I think. I think he's going to be a tricky one. He's going to be unreliable um, in Constructed. He's a potential nuke 4 damage, everything around it, um, which is pretty great. Um, but in Constructed is where I think this card is going to have issues because there's a lot of long-range silence, a lot of long-range control. Um, that potentially, it it just, yeah, it, it's a definitely a, as you just said, Genki, it's a mid-tier card. Um, that I'm going to try running in every deck I can. I think Thunderhorn is still better. I think Thunderhorn is statted better. I think Thunderhorn is the... It's Thunderhorn is sadly, I think, the option to pick. However, in Gauntlet, yes. This card is going to destroy face in Gauntlet. Um, it's crazy. It's like Little Bane Magmar dude. He's all hooked up and he's just ready to wreck face. And I'm very glad I got the card. That's what I'm trying to say. Is I'm glad I got the card. Whoa, the art on this dude is slick. Two cost, one, one for Abyssian. Dying Wish. Lower the cost of all your minions with Dying Wish in your deck and action bar by one. That is awesome. Um, That is crazy. That is a really, 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 really good card for Abyssian. There are a lot of very, well, there were a lot of very good death, Dying Wish cards um, dying with like a necro style deck could be something that could be a lot of fun to play. Um, we'll see if there's enough dying wish cards to really make a dying wish deck, but I think, I think there are, and there's enough high level dying wish cards that you could slow, you could rapidly speed your curve of minions up. Um, first Mithron card you get. What? The first one that I get. Yeah, I think carry on is going to be great. I thought you were supposed to get a Mithron pack every 10 orbs or um, I, I must have read the post wrong. I thought I should have one by now. Maybe I get one if I leave and then I'm just going to get them. Um, I'm not sure how the Mithron cards work. I've opened up plenty of orbs. I think I should have gotten one. Um, Meditate we've looked at. Clinger we've looked at. Yielding depths we have not looked at. If you have three or more Shadow Creep, draw two cards. I don't see it getting played. The card draw is nice, um, but that's two mana you're spending for card draw. I think there are better ways of getting draw, but I could be wrong. Back out of the opening. <clears throat> I know it's not Friday and I'm streaming. It's why I'm ignoring your text message that's been staring at me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'll save them for the end of these orbs that I'm opening and then we'll see which ones I get <clears throat> I have more than enough diamonds to buy I think I can buy 150 orbs total um if I need to if not I'll hold on to them um we've got lion eyes as the new one we've got uh five cost epic spell give celerity to a friendly minion directly behind your general so there this is the second card we've seen for lion that is really tuned around position um this is a card that I would just play wrong probably over and over and over. Um, I agree. It is, the card draw is very situational. I'm not going to discard it completely. Um, I just don't know how frequently it'd get run. Lion Eyes is... This is just a card that I'm just going to muck up every time I attempt to play it. Um, I mess up Zeal enough as it is. Cards like this are just like Fino bait waiting for me to screw something up. So... <laughs> Like, it's just, it's just literally waiting for comments to happen in the comment section. So we'll probably avoid playing that. Brong Block! Wonderlust, Invigoration, Thicket Augur, and Legendary. Another Orbo, the Ostentatious. That is two. I'd love to see some other Legendaries, but if Orbo is what they're going to continue giving me, then power to them. Common, 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 common. Got another Cold Fist, Accu... I said I'd never say the word again, so I'm just not going to. I'm just going to call it um, Spinny Tornado of Death. Um, 
That is true. I would get to see the cool animation. Um, so maybe I'll I'll muck it up once so I can see the animation. <laughs> um, or somebody will play it correctly, and I'll still get the wonderful honor of seeing the uh, of seeing that. So, um, so yeah, we've got we've got tornadoes. Um, this is another card similar to the Adakarok that I was just completely wrong. Um, when it was clarified to me that this would have rush, um, this card is nuts. There's no way around it. I think that this card is potentially broken as snot, especially since it is a common. I was very, very wrong. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I think it's overpowered as shit. I think it's statted perfectly to be overpowered, and I think it's a good competitor. I think people could pull and utilize this instead of Lost in the Desert. Um but Dervish decks, I think, are going to be out in droves. Um, I think that Vetruvian has a nice... This was a nice gift to Vetruvian players for taking away Falcius. Um, that's what I would say, is this is a nice... I think it was a nice way to kind of seal the wound of taking Falcius out of the game. Um, Windclift Alarmist. Um, four cost 2-2. Two, two. Opening Gambit. Summon a 5-5 five, five Windcliff Protector with Provoke from your deck. That's crazy. Um, basically, it comes down to it being a four cost seven seven. Um, one of those cards with five five. If you don't have the card in your deck, well, you're a dummy for pl putting this in your deck. Um, but yeah, dirt. This is nuts. I don't want to look at it anymore. I can't do it. Um, what is that? What? Wh I don't know what that is. It's held for review. I don't know here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> I think I don't think my mod is here anymore, so she didn't approve it. Mod, where are you? Um, and you've got yielding deaths. If you have three or more, yeah, it's shiny. So it's spirit for me, which is wonderful. Not that I don't know if I'll ever need spirit again after the amount of money I just dumped into this game. Um saying there's there's plenty of diamonds floating around right now <laughs> we've got mir another mirror room invigoration chronic potential we've got another yielding depths so that's check the box we got all these guys another meditate that checks that box now we're going to start moving i think we're going to start moving through the packs a little bit quicker all right i'll see you later genki i'll be on for probably another hour hour and a half maybe i don't know i have no idea how long i'm gonna play but if i'm still here i'll see you then the Husku, Bone Crusher, Wither, Fizzling, Odok. Boop. Another one. Demonic Conversion, Chronic Potential. Oh, we opened them in the wrong order. <laughs> it makes sense if you've heard me try to pronounce that before. Um, Wraith Crown. Four cost friendly Wraithlings have plus two, plus two. Not bad. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, it, it it's a good artifact for if you're going to run a Wraithling deck. Um, I don't see a lot of synergies currently. Gibbet! Yes! Aha! Two Gibbets! I want to just make a Gibbet deck. I want to get Gibbet. Yeah, there it says five. Nice! Not bad, dude. Well done. Maybe you can do a whole whopping 1,200 bits yeah top tier now <laughs> i want to build a gibbet deck that's the thing i want just armies of gibbets i want to throw gibbet after gibbet back into my desk i want crazy gibbet stuff full fist that's a lot of wonderful little rares shiny metal meld shiny beast clad very nice Another Divine Liturgy and a Second Self. So all cards we've already pulled. We've done it. We have finally got to the point where it will speed up. It only took us, I don't know how long, an hour to get to a point where we're starting. What is wrong with this card? Oh, okay. This is that a weird angle? There you go, 1,200. I think a 1,000 is fine. Um, it is at least for YouTube. 1,000 seems fine. I mean, picture looks good. You could try doing 1080 at a 1,000. See if that works. Um, 
Instead of worrying about just bumping the re instead of bumping the bit, try bumping the resolution. See how that does. Um, but you might have to bump the bit rate up for the higher res as well. Orb Rider, look at this dude. Look at him. Like, adorable and terrifying at the same time. Two cost two two. Opening gambit. Return a nearby friendly minion to your action bar. It could be good. Um, it's a good way to bounce stuff. You can bounce your own cards back to your hand. Um, I'm not doing 60. I am doing 30. <coughs> I started having... A, I think my computer is starting to hate me for all of the content that I do. Um, so it's starting to struggle a little bit when I try recording in 60. Um, nonetheless, streaming in 60. So, no, I'm currently in 30. I um, mean, YouTube is finicky with 60 anyway, so there's not a lot of incentive um, to really do it. We've got Planner Foundry. Draw an artifact from your deck. Sure. I think it'd be way cooler if you could, like, equip the artifact from your deck. Um, and then we pulled another Wanderlust. And another Yielding Depths. Got an Epic. Yeah. Gotta get faster. Always trying to get faster. I think I cut myself. I'm bleeding now. Don't ask how. It just it just happens. It just happens. Just... We're gonna move on. <laughs> we pulled ourselves a Fenrir Berserker. Dying Wish. Again, I think this card's really cool. I think it might cost... I don't know. I think it costs good. Um, but it's not crazy. We got Bello. Give a friendly minion plus three attack. Stun enemy minions around it. Sure. Been pretty good. It is. Um, might, I don't know. It might cost much. I don't know. I'll be curious to see how this card is. Um, boop, boop. I think this card looks awesome, though. Like, it is a crazy looking card. Um, yeah. Uh, we've got Permafrost. Stun an enemy minion. Stun enemy minions. Stun an enemy nearby. Um, I think Permafrost is a card that I didn't fully understand. Um, and I still don't fully understand. If this is like a Thunderhorn stun, that is nuts. Um, there's a lot of cards that kill stunned enemies. Um, so Permafrost could be really, really cool. Um... Stun an enemy minion, stun enemy minion, stun an enemy, stun a nearby enemy. So you could actually stun the general too with a well-timed permafrost um, or well-placed permafrost. I think this card's cool. I think it's legit. Um, again, it's going to sit very well in Ilana. So yeah. And then we've got Synaptic Arbitrage. Arbitrage. I don't know. It's a four cost epic for Vitruvian. Give your opponent a minion to take control of nearby enemy minions with less attack. Okay, I gotta reread that. Give your opponent a minion to take control of nearby enemy minions with less attack. Okay. So you have a minion. It has five attack. You walk that in with a bunch of minions around it that are less. It's got four, three, four. You play this card. You give the opponent the five attack minion. You then use your minion that you just stole from him to kill his own minion and then punch him in the face. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool card. I can see a lot of potential with this card. I think it's crazy. Um, I think a skilled player is going to be really mean with this card. It's it's a sad, honest truth. I think a, a good player is going to be a bully with it. Um, I'm not going to be that bully, most likely. What do we got here? Boop, 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 boop. All right. Knuckle Storm. Prongbok. All right. Intensify. Deal one damage to an enemy. Um, Knuckle Storm is pretty good. It basically is going to eventually stack into a one cost 4-4. Um, four, four. That's crazy. A one cost 4-4? Four, four? Not 4-4, uh, not four, four, but a one cost 4 damage is nuts. I think Knuckle Storm is wonderful. It's a very good card. One cost 1 damage is not bad. Um, and it just gets really good. Proc this with crazy song high spells. You've got good deck. Another Wither. Another Griffin. 
He looks all decked out. He's pretty cool. Wind Cliff Protector. Five cost five five. Provoke. When a friendly Wild Cliff Arm Alarmist dies, transform this minion. In what? That is interesting. The cards have really unique synergies that one is really powerful, one is really bad. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if anybody runs those two. Invigoration, Cryonic, Air, Pride Beak, Crater. I think Crater looks awesome. Like, look at him. He's just really, really angry. We got another Endless Hunt. Another fully opened. Shouldn't you be streaming yourself, Dave? Shouldn't you be streaming? Don't you stream. Planner Foundry, uh, Foundry Phoenix Barrage, Cold Fist. Second Self, and Epic, which is really what I think we're going to start looking for very soon. Another Malicious Wisp. All right, it's gummy worm time. Gibbet! That's three. All three gibbets. That's all I needed. My life is complete. That's it. There's no reason to do anything ever again. We have all three gibbets. Um, we then mirror him. We throw gibbet into the deck. That gives us another three gibbets. We then play those gibbets. We then mirror him those gibbets. We just keep throwing gibbets everywhere. Gibbets everywhere. Um, and you just have an army. You have an army of gibbets. Um, that gives you a maximum amount of 12 gibbets that you could play in a game. That's a lot of gibbets. Um, just gibbet chaos everywhere. If there's a way to clone minions on the board, I want to clone gibbet. I want just... Look at him. Look at him. He looks like Cubone with a dagger. <laughs> That's what he looks like. It's awesome. I love it. The card is awesome. Oop. There we go. Come on, orb. Thicket, Mirum, Bellow, Aspect, Melter Moose. I know it's Melt Water, but Melter is hilarious. Boop, boop, boop. Anything new? Chittering Tiller. Hello. Three cost, four, three. Not bad. Frenzy. Also not bad. Opening Gambit, teleport the enemy general one space forward. Also not bad. Pretty good card. Um, do I see it getting run? Probably not. Um... I think there's better Abyssian cards. I think the art on it is legit. Um, but I don't... I don't know if I see this card getting run. Saber Spine Alpha. Got to talk about it every time he's here because he is the super coolest card ever, ever. Just period. Um, deep Impact. Very nice. Endless Hunt. We got plenty of Endless Hunts. Dun, dun, dun. Legendary. I knew if I did the dun, dun, dun on it as it appeared, it would be a legendary. Invigoration. Thicket. Anger Dock a Dock. Epic. Horned Mask. Oh, your general gains plus one attack. After a friendly minion with backstab attacks, it gains plus one one. Um, it doesn't say it has to backstab. Um, so just whenever a friendly minion with backstab attacks. So it's building back into, I think backstab decks are going to be a thing. Um, more so than they already were. They, they existed, but they were a little trickier to pull off. Um... The backstab mechanic is definitely one of the more technical. Um, Swarm King Scarab. Fantastic card. Um, it's statted insanely well. It's only six cost. It's just a legitimate card. Um, it is. It's This is crazy. And the Scarab Bites are adorable little guys. Um, I wish it was an actual card. I wanted it to be an actual card you could just play. Um, but it does seem like it's just a always proc I, f I assume we would have gotten one by now where it is a common but maybe maybe we haven't we just got chittering and he's a common seen all them saber spine alpha Woo! gotta talk about it every time divine liturgy aspect of ego next i don't know how fast i need to go boop 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 can only open them so quick without like clicking like a madman um, Painful Pluck, Riftwalker, uh, Chronic Potential, Adam Klinger, and Wither. Seen them all. Been there. Bought the packs. Movie was fine. Click, 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 click. 
Fizzling Marching Orders. Um, this is another card. I'm never going to pull it off. We got another Gibbet. That's four. Four Gibbets. Thal Soul. Munch. Boop. Da 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 da. Shiny. Um, that card. Nothing new. We're, we're getting to the point now where we're chasing the legendaries. We're chasing the. Uh, we're chasing these and the epics. Then we're chasing the dust to craft whatever we want in the future. Prongbok. Ooh, I was hoping I'd pull a couple of these guys. Um, this card, the potential on this card is crazy. Um, Kanum Ka. It's a five cost, three, three. Stats, not great at all. Um, but Dying Wish, a random friendly dervish disappears, summoning this card in its place. That's crazy. A um, lot of fun potential here. Um, I think Dervish decks are going to have some really cool, unique, and interesting ways of doing things. And I think that he is a very low-cost legendary that could add to some of the crazy chaos. And it's got Flying and Rush. So he can immediately come down on the board, which I completely missed in my review of the card. I never even commented on the fact that it's Flying and Rush. Um... If you have, granted by the time you play five mana, the odds of you having a lot of dervishes might not be as crazy high potential. Um, but this card could potentially just face smash an enemy general, especially if the enemy general has increased attack like Magmar, um, where running your general into him is going to kill him and just bring another one up. Um, there's crazy potential with this card. And... I'm interested to see it. The, the question is whether or not a Kanum Ka can take over another um, Kanum Ka. That will be the question. I think that would be crazy interesting to like see that happen. But I can't imagine it would work like that. That would be crazy. It'd be hilarious. And they, the developers shown that they're willing to tweak and mess with balance for fun. And that's cool because... They have a community within the Duelist realm that I think will tune and play around stuff that's way too powerful, like Thunderhorn. They'll just figure out ways to crush and annihilate Thunderhorn rather than just, like, complaining online. They're like, they adapt. Like, what is up with this? Like, <laughs> it can't be silenced. Um, it Like, you could one-shot it, I suppose. Um, you could turn it into an egg and then nuke it. So you could turn it into an egg and just kill it. Um, it's crazy. This card is crazy. Um, art is really cool. My coffee is cold. Um, but it's, it's stuff like this. Like, such a crazy, powerful card. And granted, the way the game is tuned, a nine-cost card has to be nuts to play. But this nuts is like nuts nuts. Like that is legitimately crazy. It's cool though. It, it, it is pretty cool. Second self. All right. What do we got? Another legendary. Meltwater Moose. Cryonic Potential. Orb Rider. Wanderlust. And War Exorcist. Five cost, three eight legendary with provoke. At the start of your turn, holy immolation, all of your damaged minions. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy. It if the opponent the opponent can play around this card, and that's what I said in my review of this card. The opponent because it's at the start of your turn, the opponent is able to play around the card. Um, so you can't manipulate the play um, to proc it at the end of your turn. Um, so the enemy general, as long as he continues to make sure that he doesn't just leave minions with health, um, you can play around this card fairly easily. It's statted very defensively, so it, I mean, 8 health for a 5 cost card is pretty good. Um, so it's statted really nicely, and it has provoke. Um, and I assume it procs. And the fact that it procs... Um, if he's damaged means that you're almost guaranteed to proc him. So yeah, the, that, the card's crazy. 
the legendaries in this expansion are crazy powerful uh so like that's really cool it's really cool to see them just put a lot of power into some of the cards Bello, prong rock we got another world core golem phoenix barrage shiny i i still don't think this card's good i really don't i wish i wish i thought it was good but i don't know i i don't think people are gonna run it it's five it's, it's five mana to deal three damage um and then you put another phoenix fire in your hand but that's it's eight it's eight it costs eight to deal six damage and i don't know if eight mana for six damage is worth it i, I don't i don't think it's worth it i think it costs too much especially with no body involved i think it just costs way too much um it's i don't think it's ever going to be played on turn five um if you did play it on turn five to kill something with three health then you get the other card to use later. That could be okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Beast Clad Hunter and Bellow. Getting a little low on the orbs. Fizzling. Divine Liturgy, Metal Meld, and Knuckle Storm. It is bad, right? It. It, it's just bad eight damage or eight mana for six damage it i want the card to be good because throwing more phoenix fires in your hand i think that's why they statted it the way they did it's because phoenix fire is such a powerful direct hit um that mitigates a lot in the game knuckle storm a crater planner foundry I think this is going to be great for artifact decks like sanji is going to rock this um i kind of glazed over it earlier but i do think that this is a fairly decent card um it's not bad alter yeah come on go look at all those commons all i see is dust or spirit now live stream i think live stream is a solid card got another golem I think everybody is going to have tons of these golems. I think that the golem is like the friendliest new player card. Um, I think a lot of the cards in this expansion are a very nice way to basically encourage new players to try the game. It's very, it's tuned very nice for new players. There's a lot of power in this one expansion um, that I feel like if you just got a few orbs from the newest expansion, you could you could do fairly well um another gargantuan growth they really seem like they're listening to feedback from their community i mean the community really did not like the crates for the most part um not everybody was against the crates but um and it wasn't the crates i think they were against i think it was the fact that you had to buy the crates they felt less like a reward and more like a reward to get more money like hey we're rewarding you why don't you pay us for the reward it i don't know it's over now so i don't have to complain about it live stream bellow marching orders permafrost and lion eyes not bad the polls aren't bad we're getting some decent stuff i'm very excited to have all of these cards now in the collection legion painful pluck Wind Cliff. I think I've been calling it Wild Cliff. It's Wind Cliff. Um, Alarmist, Metal Meld, and Wither. Getting down to our final first batch of orbs. <coughs> Legendary. Another Golem. Divine Liturgy. Marching Orders. Meditate. Zenkai Cannoneer. Cannoneer. Um, five cost, four, four with ranged what is the first deck i'm excited to make with all the new cards um i don't know yet i want some i wanted to make a venar deck but i don't know how well venar is going to do i'm excited to play with gibbet and gibbet is going to be a blast so maybe a gibbet creep deck of some sort um anybody who's been watching the channel for any amount of time knows that i'm like really bad at making decks um really all around fairly not great at the game in general but i like playing it so um whenever you summon this minion summon a minion with ranged that minion gains rush 
that is very cool. I, I think every faction got a five cost legendary card. Um, this guy's cool. And he's got the little Mulan gun, which is also very cool. So, well done. I think that's my second Disney reference this this video or this stream. Depending on how you're watching the content. Orizuru. I like this bird. I think he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool bird. I like that bird. All right. Seeing everything else. What do we got for a legendary? Unleash the evil. The art on that card is... Cr Look at that. Look at that. It looks like a prowler from Minion Masters. Just been caged. And he's so angry. Um, if you haven't seen any of my Mini Masters content, I highly recommend checking out some of my Mini Masters content. Unleash the Evil Spell. It's a legendary for eight. Summon a copy of the minion your opponent most recently summoned from their action bar. It gains rush and flying. That is bonkers. Bonkers. Um, I mean, what? Let's see. Your opponent plays EMP. You play this. You get the EMP, fly it over, punch them in the face. Um, or kill their EMP, trade directly. Um, your opponent plays Thunderhorn. You play this card. Not as great, granted, but you run the Thunderhorn over and just nuke his board. Um, this card is crazy. Um, the potential behind this card is super, super cool. Um, and not to mention it might be one of the coolest arts in the game it is legitimately cool it is very cool i might want to build an abyssian deck first i might just want some crazy abyssian deck that is awesome just looks so angry that's not a very good last pack what's up with that we've seen all these cards that's not a good way to end the pack <gasps> Look at that cute little dude. Look at him. Trapuka. Oh my god, he's the cutest. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. Five cost three six. Whenever your opponent summons a minion, summon a two one Puka with provoke in front of it. That's not bad. It's not great. But it's not a bad card. Um, it's a clever way to lock down minions. Um, whenever your opponent plays stuff, it'll just lock them down. Um, I don't know. That card comboed with Gibbet, maybe? Where you play and you have this on the board so his minions are constantly getting stuck and then you're just getting Gibbets and you're using the Gibbets to just cons consistently clear. Um... And the fact that Gibbets just come back whenever they kill stuff. That could be a lot of fun. So you just provoke. You run the Gibbet in. You kill the minion. That turns into a Gibbet. And you have a provoke. And then you start just spreading Gibbets everywhere. Then you have like the super Gibbet that you put into and you buff. And you just buff up the Gibbet. I'm going like way Gibbet crazy right now. We need more orbs I think. Um... First, let's see what we got for these things. All right. So here's where the challenge comes in. Hate Furnace. All right. So I don't know if I'll do it tonight, Roxas, but maybe for Friday's stream, um, I'll give it a go. Your challenge that you put on me. Um, it depends how long it takes me to get through the rest of the cards and if I can put a deck together. But let me... Where's my pen? Where's my pen? That's a pencil with no... No sharpen. I don't know where my pen is. All right. Well, I need to just remember Hate Furnace. Somebody will remember it for me, I'm sure. Mod! Don't let me forget. You know. I know. It's going to be super easy. Um, yeah. So we'll see how late the stream goes tonight. Whether or not I do it tonight. But he is the best. He's also... Isn't he the cheapest quest card? Um... So my question is, because I honestly don't know this, and you might, um, does a quest card have to be on the board for the entire time? 
Do you know that? I can't imagine it does. I think once you play it, it would trigger the trial. Um, and then even if the minion dies, in which case he's very well statted as well. So he's just an all around solid minion. Um, and does it include spells that have been played previously to him? Um, so yeah, if you know, or if anybody watching knows, no, he does not need to stay on the board. Perfect. But do does he have to have been played? Like, does a trial trigger in your deck, or does he have to be played? That's the question, too. I assume he has to be played to trigger the trial. Quest stays. Wonderful. Ooh. Can't be dispelled or anything, but he must be played, correct? He's got to be played. There's no way he can't, like... And then we've got Mithron Wanderer. Six cost, six, six. Trial, have no duplicate cards in your deck. Destiny, all of your minions have plus one, plus one. See, that would be one where as soon as you play the minion, it would work. But if you already meet the trial, it would automatically work. It starts in your hand at the beginning of the game, and you can't replace him. Okay. But, but you have to play him to start the trial, correct? So. Do you have, if you have to play him though. It also means he takes up a card slot. I don't know how I feel about that either. Have to be played. And he counts as a card, I assume, in your hand as well. Um, Because, like, this would be a card. Like, if it counts as one of your cards, that means you'd have to hold on to... No, trials start immediately. That's that's great. So a card like this. Okay, so trials start. Okay, so that is very cool. And the opponent doesn't know about the trial until the card is played either. So that's cool. That's fun. And then you can start trying to figure out what your opponent is doing with his deck archetype, which is also clever. Notion of a Starless Eternity. Ooh, five cost, three, three minion. Trial. General reaches the other edge of the battlefield with an equipped artifact. Destiny. Each equipped artifact gives your general a tier of ascension. That sounds really powerful. Um, but I feel like you could block this one. I feel like this, this is one where once you see the enemy general start making his way to the other side of the board... You're going to be blocking that fool. You're not going to be like, yo, I know what you're going to do on turn five. It's not happening. Um, so I think the magma one's crazy. <coughs> that's free. Damn. I Datsu the Ebon Ox. Trial. They will because you start with six instead of five cards at the beginning. So you can tell if they're playing a quest. All right. That's good to know. But not what quest. So you could figure out what they're up to. Some of them I think are given away a little bit quicker than others. Trial. Summon seven minions from your action bar with different costs. Okay. Destiny. Summon friendly minions. Deal their cost as damage to an enemy. Dude, that's crazy. So if you play seven at different cost minions, this thing's like Exodia. It's like an Exodia card. What the sh- <laughs> What? That is crazy. If you're perfectly on curve and you play a one, like one straight through all the way to seven, you could just obliterate the opponent. You have seven plus six. Yeah, it would kill the opponent. This is a game ender. And it's free. Or 
it's all minions after him deal direct damage? Either way, this card's crazy. It's bonkers. That is a bonkers card. Whether it just deals all the summon or not. Oak the Nemeton. Nemeton? Nemeton. Nemeton! Art is really cool. Um, it's a 6 cost, 6 6. Trial. Have five token minions with different names. Destiny. Friendly tokens. Minions have plus four, plus four. Um, that's pretty cool. It's not bad. I've never fully understood what a token minion is. Um, I assume it's a minion procced off of an effect. After the trial complete. All right. That makes sense. Um, I would assume. Yeah, so either way, the card is crazy powerful. Um, but this one here, friendly token minions have plus four, plus four. I st I've never fully understood what a token minion is. Um... Grand Strategos. Um, he looks cool. 5 cost 5, 5. Statted very well. Trial. Summon 10 minions with one or less attack. Promote other friendly minions at the end of your turn. I don't know what the promote is. I'm assuming it's a buff of some sort, but it sounds pretty cool. There we go. How many more do we have to open? Walls are tokens. Does that mean that the wall deck is viable? Didn't they take Winter's Wake out, though? Winter's Wake's not in the set anymore. Illusions from... Okay, so it is cards that are summoned off of an effect. That makes sense. Yeah, didn't they take Winter's Wake out? I think they pulled Winter's. Winter's Wake. How do you tell if it's allowed in... Is it a filter? Standard cards. Yeah, Winter's Wake is gone. Sad face. Makes me sad. Promote is upgrade. Promote is upgrade by one. I one cost turns into a random two cost. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Another RNG factor, which is great. How many more do orbs? We open what? 50 something so we need more orbs so let us get more orbs i don't want diamonds i want orbs i have plenty of diamonds shop shopping orbs till you drop shopping orbs till you drop there we go come on good store <sighs> boom all right Back into the action. I'm going to eat a gummy worm before I get going. All right. My coffee is so cold, but I want to drink it. It's not a great start. We got a shiny moose. Jittering Tiller, Planner, Chronic, Cryonic. I think we have all the commons. I'd be shocked if we didn't have all the commons by now. Horned Mask. Boom. Dust Dervish. We got another Alpha Saber Spine. Another Fenrir Berserker. I like that they innovated on cards that already existed in the game. I think that's pretty cool. Um, Legion, Dust Drinker, Gargantuan, Yielding, all cards we've got. Could be a really quick song high. I think the Vitruvian's going to be tricky too, because that's when you have to reach the other side of the board. Um, granted it's doable, um, but I think it's tricky. Um, I just don't see why Vinar would bother like why would Venar bother doing it when there's no way to manipulate the walls anymore like that would be my biggest thing is you can't control the walls anymore if they'd kept winter's wake in and you were able to control the walls that would be great um i just don't see why you would bother with tokens for that like maybe you could buff winter's wake to crazy potential like that would be something completely different 
But the fact that walls are basically permanently locked now, unless they added another card similar to Winter's Wake where you can move your token minions, but I don't think I haven't seen it anyway. So I can't imagine it exists because nobody would keep that from me. It would be cruel. World Core plus Corporal Cadence is going to be sick. OTK. I have no idea what OTK stands for. Just saying. Um, <laughs> Corporal Cadence. What the? Corporal Cadence. Oh, that's the card that deals the damage directly to the enemy general, isn't it? Vinar has OTK mill combo now. I don't, I, I don't, I don't fully know what OTK is. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, one turn kills. What is Corporal Cadence in? I'm blanking on what Corporal Cadence is. What is Corporal Cadence? Do I have that? Corp. That's not it. I'm just seeing. Corporal. Yeah, destroy a friendly minion to deal attack. Yeah, that's nuts. Granted, it's turn 10, um, but that's crazy. Uh, like, legitimately crazy. It's an insta-kill on turn 10. Similar to Doom. I mean, Doom is a turn 10 insta-kill as well, I would suppose. Um, where are my orbs? Must open orbs. Orbs. I found it. It's good. It's all good. It's a card I had one of those in. I think it was the deck you actually had me run, I think. Um, I never got to use it, I don't think. Gibbet! We got another Gibbet. Aurora's Prophet, I think, is fantastic. I've gotten all kinds of things that are God. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we've seen some very cool stuff. No Darkfire Sacrifice and Golem Metallurgist can drop World Core. That is... Darkfire Sacrifice. And then you just play the 5 cost and you win on turn 5. That is a crazy combo. We have a legendary. Must look at legendary. By the way, hi Zudu. Thank you for thanks for tuning in and telling me that I should just stream this and upload the VOD instead of recording all night and uploading videos. It was his idea, everybody. It was his idea. War Exorcist. Sure. Another one is great. We still haven't seen the Venar uh, legendary. That will probably never get played. It basically, like, shrinks the board, which is pretty cool. Another mirror room, which is pretty good. I can't imagine losing on turn five because that golem. That would be bonkers. That would be bonkers. Ice Stream Legion, Metal Meld, Mirror Room, Rift Walker. Boop. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Nothing new. I think we have. I think we have all of them. Gummy worm. Yeah, we're not seeing anything new anymore. Second self. I think this is a pretty cool card. Um, I think it's too slow. I think it leaves you know. You open to having an opponent just nuke whatever you do. Um, but if you can control where you put the egg, that's a whole different thing. Like, if you could just put it somewhere, it's hard for the opponent to get to it. Um, life string, prong bok. Ugh, that poor little deer. Invigoration, orb rider. Massacre artist, there we go. Song high legendary. Uh, four cost, two, five, backstab, two. After this, a minion attacks, attacks and backstabs. All attacks are backstabs this turn. That is crazy. That is legitimately nuts. It is a fantastic card for a backstab deck. And I 
I think I'm definitely going to... Somebody's going to play it and murder me with it. And I'm going to be like, yo, I never saw that coming. And everyone's going to be like, you said it was going to happen. Another Cell Soul. Cell Soul? Uh, what is you guys' opinion on Cell Soul? Because I feel like Cell Soul is really good. Um, especially with the uh, corporal, the little bird dude who can lower the cost of all dying wish minions. Um, I think Abyssian is going to be a lot of fun to play after this expansion. I think Abyssian is going to have a lot of cool stuff. I think their power is definitely structured differently than the power in the other decks. Um, I still think Pride Beak is super cute. Mystic. I don't know. Come on. New card. Oh, shiny epic. It's not bad. I'll take it. Got it all. Kaido Expert. This is another really good card, I think. I like Kaido Expert. Um, it might cost a little bit much. Um, maybe not with its effect. It's, its effect is crazy. Um, the downsides you have to backstab, but you don't have to backstab if you have that other legendary that we just pulled. So I think that there's a lot of really cool potential with this and he has a tail, so you can't hate on him. Um, Yeah, they, they definitely spell it out for you. For Venara, there is a 7-drop neutral that makes your opponent mill 3 cards when you summon a minion. Then there is a spell, Ice Age, that can summon enough minions to kill your opponent without fatigue. With fatigue. A 7-drop neutral that makes your opponent mill 3 cards when you summon a minion then there's a spell ice age that can summon enough minions to kill your opponent that is crazy that's crazy what's this set is it a seven cost legendary drop because if it's a legendary it's not going to be as you know as prominent until you get to higher tiers and ladder. If it's even feasible to pop off reliably. If you can't if you can't proc it uh, reliably, it's not gonna live. But yeah, that's nuts. There's some crazy combos in the expansion, like bonkers. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I can't wait to see some of the decks that people start posting and that I start taking away. Just got to craft it. Oh, I got, I've got the dust to craft whatever I want. I think when we get to that point, I just don't, I don't like crafting cards that aren't viable in more than one deck. Um, I like having like focusing on the stuff that I can multi put. I think carry on collector is awesome. I love this card. The art is crazy. And he procs himself. So if you have three in the deck, you have three in the deck. You just. It's crazy. Got another tiger. I, I don't. Uh, I'm sad that the kitty's never going to get played. I don't think anybody's going to play this card. I like that they made it a common so everybody gets more kitty love. Um, I, I just don't think people are going to run it. I can't imagine people running this card. Because I think kitty is four and there's a lot of three cost buff cards that you could use on kitty to get kitty's attack higher than five. Um, 
I, I just don't see... Unless you, like, build a kitty deck, and it's all built around getting Rush. I, I just... I don't know. You guys think Saber Spine Kitty here is going to ever get run? I, I just... I think they hit rough with such a... Dude, that's a cool combo, too, actually. That's correct. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's make the whole deck free. Could you actually do that? Like, you need, you need enough card draw to get enough of them. But that would be nuts. Yeah, you definitely need card draw in order to get them. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do, zoo dude. Bone Crusher. Spinning games plus five attack. I still think Bone Crusher is cool. I think its potential is nuts. Um. Absolutely bonkers. That's true. There is some really good card draw for Abyssian. And they actually added more. You can draw a card if you have creep now. So, uh, Crater, Cliff, Pride, Phoenix. Marching orders. Come on, legendaries. Where are you hiding? Where are you all hiding? I mean, what's up with this? Fizzling Mystic, Bolster, Anger, knock a knock. Kaido Expert. I like that card. I do. And that gives us three of them. So we actually, we finished that set for them. Legendary. There it is. Chittering, I think that's three. We now have like six or seven gibbets. I love this card. I love it so much. This card is amazing. It is fantastic. What do we got here? Zenkai Cannoneer, another legendary for Songhai. We're not seeing a lot of the luck with the legendaries. I'm starting to get a little bummed out with it. Where are all the legendaries? Where are you? Deep Impact. There's our third carry on collector. Um, I think Bellow's good. I like Bellow. I think there might be better buff cards than Bellow, though. The stun is nice. Bone Crusher. That's our third profit, which is nice. Lodestar. What? That is bonkers cool looking. That might take trophy for coolest art we've seen. It's a six cost four four airdrop, so you can pop it wherever you want. And force field. At the end of both players' turn, pull some things to this minion. Um, trying to think of what you could do with it. Lodestar and Gibbets could be a lot of fun. Put a Lodestar off in the corner and just plop some Gibbets down. And then at the end of every turn, enemies are just going to get sucked over to Lodestar. And you kill them. It's at the end of both players' turns, though. Um, so it could backfire. It could pull enemies to your, you know, to you and cause problems. But Lodestar is crazy. And yeah, you could buff it and just destroy everything. Yeah! Yeah! That's crazy. Lodestar is awesome. Airdrop and force field. So you could plop it anywhere and then start dropping gibbets around it. Throwing gibbets. Ah, so cool. And it's neutral, which is even cooler. Oh, there you are. Legendary. Dust drinker. World core golem. Another kitty. Do you think a lot of people, like, do you guys think a lot of people are playing World Core? Do you think a lot of people are going to run World Core? Bone Crusher Cadence. 
Yeah? That's a... Yeah? Are you just coming up with these crazy combos off the top of your head? Like, that's impressive. Like, you're coming up with insane stuff that terrifies me. <laughs> it scares me for the latter. Because there might be other people out there. Later, Zoo Dude. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sure I will be super awake and in a wonderful mood. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, though, man. Bone Crusher. Second self. Boop. Yo, I love playing decks that don't make me think about making them. Um, it's one of the things that has made me a little bit nervous uh, going forward with the channel is like the meta has shifted. So all of the decks that I've been playing and having a lot of fun with, especially right after a series reboot where I like just reset all of my duelist content. Um, it makes me a little nervous going in and trying to experiment myself. That's the third Orbo of the ostentatious. Love it. It's beautiful. So yeah, I love playing other people's decks. I love making decks. Granted, I'm really bad at it. It's just one of those things where I try to build really fun and awesome decks. And then I'm like, this deck has 25 spell cards in it. We're going to do swell guys. And spoiler alert, that doesn't work. <laughs> but like just the crazy wacky combinations, probably one of the reasons why I like minion masters so much. Um, Cause minion masters is just, one of those games where you can just throw crazy shit into your deck and just see how it works. Um, it's a little bit more gimmick driven. Whereas Duelist doesn't... It, even now, they did add a unranked mode, but all the cards are allowed there. So it is going to make deck testing still really hard. I was hoping that they would go a similar route as like Hearthstone where you have unranked and ranked but they're both under like the standard mode. And then you have an unranked and ranked both under a, a limited mode um, just for deck experimentation. Control is, I think the way to go. I like slow, very patient games where you have to count. You got to use your brain, think of the math. And if you mess it up, you're going to look like a jackass going down in flames. But if it works, you feel really good and your opponent just literally, you know when the game is over and it goes up and it says defeat. Your opponent's head is sitting on their desk and they are swearing saying your name. And that is wonderful. <laughs> I put up the video that went up yesterday, the Mechazar uh, Venar deck. I think it's game three. Game three was like, bonkers like i i dealt like i think it was 19 damage in one turn just because i counted up the damage and i had it and i killed him um it was great i think munch is a really cool card um munch is great i think i think munch will be great i think it's gonna be a lot of fun but fun is the key word you use because i feel like the word fun gets lost a lot of times in competitive games and people all just, they just want to build decks that are like, gotta win, gotta win, gotta win. And winning really isn't everything. It's not. It's the fun, the fun factor. I feel like that gets lost in a lot of games. Second self, Riftwalker. I, th I think Riftwalker has a lot of fun potential. I think a lot of the cards in the expansion have great potential. I think that's the best way to describe the expansion is potential. There's a lot of cool, wacky stuff. And I'm also curious to see if the game gets a nerf right around the corner. Um, probably two weeks, I would say. Um, they'll come in, and if it, there is anything that is too bonkers, they'll probably hit it with the nerf bat, beat it to death. What do we got? Come on, come on, come on. 
Another wind cliff, orb bender, another gibbet. I just want like a billion gibbets. I know I can only play three. I wish that there was a card in any card game. I think it would be a really cool mechanic in any card game to have a card that breaks the rules and lets you have as many of them as you want. Like a card that you could build a deck with. If you had 30 of that card, you could build a deck with it. And it'd be a viable card to build a deck. I think that would be hilarious to just have one card and you just play that card. Gibbet could be that minion. I want Gibbet to be an unlocked card where you can just put 30 of them in a deck and go and see just what happens. I think it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Does Gibbet, like, count if it gets attacked, though? Like, does the counterattack count? It says whenever this attacks an enemy minion. Um, that would be another question I'd have for this card. Do I? Do you actually have to hit the attack, or is it just if the minion trades? Um, that would also be interesting. If it's when the minion trades, this is nuts. It's bonkers. Um, so, Resonance Scythe um, is a card that it looks like it would be an Abyssian deck. Like, 100%. That looks like an Abyssian card. I don't understand why Venar gets a Scythe, um, but I'm glad Venar got a Scythe because it's super cool. And... Scythes are fun, so why not, right? Your general has plus one attack. Reactivate your general whenever they destroyed its destroyed enemy. Uh, stunned enemy. That's pretty cool. It's going to fall right into the Illina deck. It's going to allow your general to <coughs> potentially clear uh, minions, um, which is pretty cool. I think there's a lot of potential here. Could be fun. And it really does mean to the five of you watching, it is really cool. And I want to thank you guys for tuning into my stream. I think it's really cool that you guys are hanging out with me on YouTube instead of some of the bigger streamers who are all doing the same thing over on Twitch. Um, it's super cool. So thanks, you, thanks guys. It, it really is cool. And I was, I looked over here. There's been a few of you guys pop in and out tonight. And I just wanted to take this really quickly to say thanks. Um, because I do 100% I do know that the biggest streamers are currently sitting over there on Twitch doing the exact same thing I'm doing. And that means you guys are here to watch me. Me, Fino. And then the cards and the fact that, you know, just spitting money away at a screen um, to open fake packs uh, <laughs> is just the added cherry on top of the, the wonderfully frosted cake. Chittering Tiller. Whoa, Hexaclaw. That's the second Hexaclaw we've pulled. Um... I'd actually like to know you guys' thoughts on this card, too. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's really weak. Um, health-wise. It's really weak health-wise. Um, which I guess is the point. It's a minion that's designed to trade into another minion. Um, since Cromcold's nerf, I guess it survives. Cromcold... Um, Granted, the effect is lost if it gets Chrom colded, but I don't know. I, I I have mixed feelings. I feel like if you got all three of these out, you'd put your opponent on a like really nice quick timer um, where they're gonna take three damage um, at the end of each turn. Um, in quest, I haven't gotten the Abyssian quest yet. I don't think. I think we'll get it in a second. Actually, thirteen orbs will get it. Which are going to go really quick if the game doesn't give me anything new. What's up with that? I'll be really curious to see how this video does uh, for the actual VOD. Oh, it keeps coming back. Oh, I saw that. It's uh, when the quest is complete, whenever your minions die, they come back. What's another one? Desolator? Desolator is going to be cool, too, with that. Um, no, because Desolator is opening Gambit, which means it has to be played from your hand. So I guess it's not as good. Um, 
The fact that it goes to your hand. How would Desolator... Do you get both procs? Like, Desolator dies? And then one appears on the board and goes to your hand? So you can just continuously keep getting Desolators? And it has Dying Wish? Yeah, base stuff is always useful. It's actually... It's probably still got some of the best cards. It does... I mean, I'm really sorry to hear that, though. I mean, that does kind of, you know, suck. Um, I haven't done that in this game, but I have opened... Um, I have opened things incorrectly in other games. But yeah, the base stuff is still very useful. And welcome back, by the way, Genki. Aspect of Ego. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't know why I keep... Dr <coughs> bad. Really bad. Another gibbet! Oh, yeah. I think if I get shiny gibbets, I'm keeping them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, the base set cards, they also have the highest uh, legendary drop rates. Um, so, I mean, they have a lot of really good stuff in the base set. Um, and it will give you enough to start climbing ladder and start getting new stuff as well. Um, so. Another Husku. We've got a... Oh, yeah. Easily. The difference is I can put Kitty in all my decks. Um, Gibbet, I cannot. He's not neutral, is he? Pretty sure Gibbet is Abyssian. If Gibbet isn't Abyssian, he's broken as shit. Um, ooh. Indominus. Your general's invulnerable, but cannot move or attack. Um, I don't know how I feel about this card. It reminds me of the Matron Elvetti for Venar. Um, it's much better statted, granted. It's way better statted. Because um, the Matron is kind of garbage in its stats department. It costs, what, eight? And it's damn near the same exact effect. Your general cannot take any damage while this is on the board. Um, but this does lock your general down. It's still way better than Matron. I mean, comparatively to Matron, this card, like, Matron's trash compared to this card. Play Swarm what? What do I play Swarm of? Hey, Andre, how's it going? Yeah, you, you're a wee bit late by two hours, roughly. Um, but don't worry. I'm going for about another hour or so, I think. I think's the plan. I got like 50 more orbs to open up. Um, the VOD will go up tomorrow, so you can catch up on anything you missed if you'd like. And I am going to be streaming on Friday as well um, for a similar window. Um, probably around six to, from seven to nine-ish is what I'm going to commit to. Um, let's me eat some food after work. Boom. Lion R with that card, run Legion. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Because then you can just start dropping the Crestfallens around your general. Yeah, yeah. How do you guys make the little faces? Make the little faces. Just type them. I mean, there were like a billion vegetables in my chat the other day. I have no idea. Props, though. I'm assuming it's just a frowny face. It looks more like a thumb with something drawn on it, though. Just, just saying. Wraith crown. Pretty good. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll be on probably for like another hour-ish. I don't know. I don't know. I have to work like super early in the morning. So, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'll definitely... Friday, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to stream every Friday. I'm going to like trying to commit to streaming every Friday. Um, and really, Andre, I should have posted that I was going to be... Uh, over on the Patreon, I should have I should have thrown it over there and let you know. Um, I I keep forgetting. There's an emote button. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> what is the silliest thing I can put? What is the craziest, silliest little thing? That I can put. There's so much stuff here. Here we go. This is it. The craziest thing in the world. It's a pumpkin. Because why not? How are you tonight, Andre, by the way? How are you? How's work? Did you have fun? Was it the best? Was it the worst? Was it an average day? Pumpk uh, legendary. I almost called a legendary a pumpkin. <laughs> My brain was like, it's orange. Therefore, it must be a pumpkin. All right, demonic conversion, live stream, meditate, sell soul, legendary. This is what we're here for. Ooh, you're new. What do you do? Five cost, neutral. I'll see you in a fugitive. At the end of your turn, you cast a spell. Put a. At the end of any turn, you cast a spell. Put a copy of the most recently cast spell into your action bar. It's neutral. So this could be a Vitruvian, not a Vitruvian, a Songhai card to a T. Um, two blueberries. And then the, the white gems are snowmen. They're snowmen. Don't ask why I changed from food to snow. Um, that's what we're doing. But this is a pretty cool card. And it's an Arcanist. Um... So there's going to be a lot of synergy, um, especially with Owl. Um, oh, that card is so broken with Owl. That's crazy with Owl. You drop Owl. Next turn, you drop the Alsu and Fugitive. You have them both on the board. And then you start, You pop Metal Meld. Or not Metal Meld. Uh, meditate. You pop Meditate and Meditate. And then you end up with your owl being a four eight eight or a four eight, and then you end up with the owl Sue and fugitive being a uh, two nine, which makes them very hard to kill. And you put f ten more meditates into your deck, five more meditates into your deck, plus whatever you meditated prior. It's crazy. It was great day at work, nine p.m. already, and maybe I'll have to deliver some more stuff. What? Are you like uh I don't wanna I don't ask what you do, but it's it's cool. I'm glad it's been a great day. I'm glad it's been a great day. It's good. Good days at work are far too rare. In my neck of the woods anyway, currently. Getting better. What the shit is this dude? Look at him. Underlord Zorzol. I think that's how you'd say that. The six cost six one. Cast six spells that destroy a friendly minion. Does Bloodbound count? Does Bloodbound count? If Bloodbound counts, the new general, the other, the newest general, that's crazy. Because you can sacrifice your own stuff for one um, and get four fours out of it. Um... It's tricky to pull off, I think. 
It's definitely hard to pull off by turn six or by six cost being available. Um, that's a cool card though. And we only have one more. That's we've opened a lot of orbs. Um, yeah, it's getting late. I saw clothes with my wife in today. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I also work with my wife in a, in a less probably collected way. Claim. Free card. Day watcher. Nope. It's evening, sir. All right. Play seven unlimited matches. Why? Why do they make me scroll? Can't you just make the window a little bigger? What is the point of that? It had to be way harder to code the scrolly bar than it is to code the window a little bit bigger. Come on! That makes no sense. Oh well. Play seven unlimited mode matches before April 30th. Probably do that. Give it mixed with Thunderhorn. Mixed with other crazy stuff. Yes. Sacrifice spell. Be great. It's going to be super cool. All right. Do we want Do we want more orbs? Should we open up more orbs? Give me. I need. There's six of you guys here. So I need three ones if you want more orbs. Three ones. Come on. Three ones. Or three pumpkins. Or a combination of ones and pumpkins. I don't know. I, I have more orbs. So we could do it if you guys want. Ones and pumpkins. The stream delay is making me wonder if you guys want more. <laughs> what do we got so far? Uh, crafting. You have duplicate cards. Disenchant extras. Cha-ching! Pumpkin! Hey, I broke my game. Oh, it worked. The audio went away for a second. It's only one pumpkin. That's a one. I got a pumpkin and a one. Need one more of something. One more of something. What the shit is that? That is not a pumpkin. I do not know what that is. There's a one near it, so that works. But that's not a pumpkin. I have no idea what that is. It's some weird freakish squash of some sort. <laughs> oh, if you hover over it, it tells you what it is. It's a tangerine. How do you get tangerine from pumpkin? <laughs> that is hilarious. It's not even the same color. Oh. Poop greater than pumpkin. Poopkin. <laughs> All right, I'll open up. I'll do it. I will do it. Where are you at? Do 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 do. They are really smart in the way that they allocate your purchases because I'm like like what is that? 350 off. It's cruel. It's cruel. This is cruel. I might buy this because why not? I might pick this up. I don't care about emotes. Emotes are blah. I don't really care about emotes. However, this is still managed to avoid my purchasing. And it might be time. Now that they cut the diamond cost in half, um, this this here might have to be a thing. It looks so tasty, but I get I get crates now that I can open, so they're going to be giving me crates hopefully consistently. Now that keys are not required for crates, 
No, we're not playing yet. What are we doing? We're opening 50 orbs. We need a gummy worm. The first emote that I'm going to make, if I can make them when I move over to, if and when I move over to Twitch. Um, is a gummy worm. It's got to be a gummy worm. And a kitty. I got to make a kitty emote. It's got to be a thing. It is awesome, isn't it? It's like the slickest looking general. But I'm scared because it could be in a crate now and I could save 400 diamonds. Every game that does that with the premium currency I'll always be missing a little bit. Yeah, it's sneaky. There there's there has to be a mathematical ratio of eventually if you buy so many that you'll match back up. The question is how many do you have to actually buy? And what conversion rate do you have to actually buy them in the different camps to get it to match up? Is the other question. Obdurator. <coughs> uh, dying. Um, your general... I don't talk this much often. <laughs> I'm like so tired. Oh, fuck. Why do I keep drinking that? Ugh. I need I need to move it. All right, or enough messing around. It's, it's really bad. All right, I'll still be here. Maybe. Boop. I still think Invigoration, Roxas. I'd like to know your opinion too, and anybody else. What do you think of that card? Because that's crazy. If you can get the partnership here. You can make emotes for your sponsors too. You know. <gasps> what? What? That's cool. I think I think I'm moving. I'm gonna set up Twitch this week with my buddy Dave, who's actually over there streaming on Twitch now, and see what happens. Um, Minion Masters is big over on Twitch too, and I know Duelist has a rather large community and viewer base over there as well so i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i got it i got the spell i wanted yes i'm so happy extinction event you are mine oh it's so good each of your eggs hatches into a catastrophosaurus i know i can pronounce that right but i can't pronounce half of the other shit in this game i wanted that card so bad i'm so excited That is awesome. It's like, this is like the new Winter's Wake, I think. I think that this is the new card that has some of the craziest potential. Because if you have a ton of eggs, or you have a way of getting a ton of eggs out on turn 7, or you're just stacking eggs on the board in some way, crazy. It is crazy. I don't know how feasible it's going to be to work. I don't know if you can ever even get more. It might even only be a turn nine card that you can guarantee get an egg with. But it's crazy. This is legitimately an awesome card, and I can't wait. I mean, I just want so many of these things. For those of you who haven't seen this, I think it's like a six cost, um, 26 health card. Um, with grow, I think, I don't know. It's a bonkers looking card. Um, so yeah, I'm very, this was like the card I was hoping I would pull. I'm very happy that I bought the final batch of orbs because originally I did not have enough orbs to do a third opening. Um, but I am glad that I opted to do the third opening. Have, have, do we have these two? What do we got? However, it is starting to get late, so I don't know if I'm going to actually play tonight. It might just be me opening orbs and talking to you guys for the whole thing. I hope that I hope that's cool. I don't know. Um, and then Friday, I hope to get a couple decks prepped out and ready. Um, if you guys have any deck recommendations, some of the new cards you might want me to play for the stream on Friday, just leave them down in the comment section of the VOD of this video, and I'll give them a go if I have all the cards. Um I didn't get nearly enough dust, I don't think. I'm still, like, super short on dust to craft everything. 
Um, but I think I could craft potential stuff. Try to focus around Magmar, Venar, or Abyssian um, with your deck recommendations. Anything else might have to hold off if I don't have all the cards. But I'm willing to try anything. So, Roxas, if you got, if you want, throw some wacky things. I'll give it a couple goes. No, I didn't get to talk about Puka. Uh, I was gonna gush over the cuteness of that card again. Um, three epics, not bad. But yeah, feel free. And if you guys, if you're watching the video, the vod on YouTube as well. Um, same thing goes. If you guys have any recommendations or fun little combos, another load star. <gasps> New card. Radiant Standard. A six cost epic. Your general has plus three attack. When your general attacks, summon a minion that costs three from your deck nearby. From your deck. It could be good. It could be a lot of fun. Yeah. Tonight? I don't know if I can do that tonight. We'll see. Are you referring to tonight? Or definitely first thing? It, I definitely will do it by the stream, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do it tonight. I gotta be, I gotta be up at like 4.30 in the morning. Eastern. And I like my sleep. It's one of the few things I enjoy in this world more than anything. But yeah, don't worry. I'm definitely not going to forget about it. Um, and if I have time, I'll give it a go. Next fit. Okay, great. Perfect. I, just don't, I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to hit the point of collapse in my coffee. I want to drink it, but... It's so cold. <laughs> I need, like, a microwave right here that I can heat my coffee up during streams, apparently. Or a thermos of some sort. All the streamers and YouTubers I watch drink out of a mug. And it's, it, it's just not practical. Unless you, like, get up. Do a lot of streamers just, like, get up and disappear during the stream? Again, I've never watched another stream. I was talking about that in Friday's stream. Like, I've never watched another streamer, so I don't know how this shit works. Ironclad will be your best friend. Just saying. Did I miss Ironclad? Oh, for the free cost. Yeah. There are a lot of really... Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people are like... Just when they're streaming, they're like, Yo, gotta get more coffee. And they just get up and get coffee. And I suppose... I set it up so I could disappear on you guys. Be like, yo, I gotta go. And I set it up so all I do is like go boop, boop. And then you guys can't see anything. And then I go, boop, 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 and I'm back. I made it that far. <laughs> Legendary. Another fugitive. Ironclad will be your best friend. Just Yes, the ironclad uh, dude. He, like, he doesn't take any damage from minions. It's bonkers with less attack. You buff him up. You turn him into a god, and then you play more, and you get rush, and you get power, and it's just, it's crazy. And I'm glad that they tune the quests to be feasible. Um, my worry is that some of the cards in the game could potentially speed up the game too quickly. It feels like this expansion was designed around slowing the game down and aiming toward a more control set. Like, Gibbet is, like, a control card. Um, a lot of the the quest cards are very... They seem very control, like, slower game, control the board. Um, removing the battle pets is... I don't really know what that's going to do overall, other than make everybody in the community better and happier. <laughs> um, but it definitely feels like they're going for more of a control style, like, less one-hit kills and more... Stuff like this, like, or suck health from an enemy uh, to a certain point, like less instant kill, still got to figure out how to deal with it kind of stuff um, to prolong different games. So it's interesting. I think these two cards synergize very well with each other um, to be able to like just take out powerful stuff. 
Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see how that goes. I like Crater. I think Crater is statted poorly. Um, I think they swayed the fact that he could deal one damage. He's going to be fantastic in Gauntlet. Um, perfect. That That's right there. Something I could do. Um, I can't draw, but yeah, I'll pop the little thingy up next time and get warm coffee it's cheaper than a microwave that's for sure uh, <laughs> another zenkai cannon here i think this is a pretty cool card um whenever you summon a minion it's it's gonna sit very well in songhai so songhai got kind of a songhai got kind of a different style um a lot of songhai there are songhai decks um primarily around the second general with the heart seekers um this would be a really good way to give your your heart seekers rush, um, which will allow you to ping stuff really quickly. Um, mixed with the Bloodbound Tormentor, I believe is the card that puts your Bloodbound into your hand. Um, could be cool. That could be some cool combos where you could drop multiple um, heat seek heart seekers in the same turn and ping stuff very nicely. <coughs> My poor throat. We'll see now that now that I'm doing content a little more frequently during the week if my voice holds up. I don't talk this much at work. Um, new card. What are you? Surround the enemy general with friendly pando that disappear at the start of your next turn. Why is that good? Why would I use that card? Um... You could buff up those pandos. Lock the general down. Because you can't attack pandos. So it would literally lock the general down in place. So it's basically a stun card. But what would you do with the pandos? What is the synergy that I'm missing with this? Other than putting eight really adorable little pandos on the board. I can't think of a single card that plays into this. Other than it, it's just a stun. It's a cute panda stun. That's true. It's a stun. It's a stun that... And they can't summon. They can't summon anything. I still don't think it's that great. Moving on. <laughs> There's a little bit of synergy with it. I can't imagine, like, I can't see anybody running a card that is literally a card to just stop the opponent from summoning a minion. Um, because the only time it would be viable would be viable would be early in the game. I think. Maybe later in the game it could be worth it. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll wait for it to be played on me and for me to get really angry. Ooh, look at that tasty spirit. So tasty. Can't wait to eat it all and turn it into something else. The tasty, tasty spirit. Prong Buck! Gargantuan Growth, Fizzling Mystic, Lion Eyes, Dust Drinker. I'm assuming most of the other streamers who are doing this blasted through the orb openings. Because they spent all day yesterday talking about all the new cards. <clears throat> and I'm like a day behind. By the time I actually start playing with the cards, I'll be an entire day behind. Um, I might not even be able to play the expansion until Friday. It might actually not even be until the next stream. We'll see. Maybe I can get some playtime in. Do a bonus video this week or something. I don't know. Third Lodestar. That's nice. We have a lot of. We had a lot of these guys. Dust Drinker. <laughs> Stupid work keeping me from my games. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, painful pluck, dust drinker, cold fist, demonic conversion. We've seen a lot of demonic conversions. I think we've capped out on all of them. I think we're now to a point where if we get a common, even if maybe if we get a rare, um, we're up to three, so we're getting dust for most of what we're playing now. Um, yeah, we have so we had so many of those. We already got what four thousand spirit from the first breakdown. Another golem, more kitty. Yes, munch. So another rare we've seen quite a bit of. We've gotten a lot of legendaries for the cannoneers. That is our fourth Orbo the Ostentatious. Um, so that's dust right there. This is a Meditate that will break down. So I think I think once I go through, it's going to take me a while to go through and break down all the cards. Um, I don't know. You guys had mentioned earlier going through and breaking down all of the Shimzar cards. I don't know if I will break down all the Shimzar cards. Um... Unless you guys really think that Unlimited is going to be a dead game mode. I don't know if it's going to be a dead game mode. I think people will always want to go in there and mess around with old cards. Um, but that's something I'd love to know you guys' opinions. Either right now uh, or in the comment section below of the VOD. Let me know. Um, aha! We got another one of these dudes. Massive orb open. I opened, what, 150? It'll be a total of 153 orbs. Plus the bonus orb that I trolled people with at the beginning of the video. Another munch. Chittering tiller. <gasps> shiny kitty! I might keep shiny kitty. It might just be a thing I have to do. If I don't need dust, I'll keep Shiny Kitty. Spirit. I don't know why I call it dust. I didn't even play Hearthstone that long yet. Dust is like programmed in my brain. I've certainly played this game way longer than I played Hearthstone. Because this game's better. I have a couple friends who would give me a dislike on the entire video for that statement. <laughs> Anger dock a dock. Just where are all the legendaries? That's why we are here now. We are here for the legendaries. Boop, 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 boop. Dust drinker. Endless hunt. Fizzling mystic. Aspect of the ego. I, I don't, I, this card is junk, right? Like that card is garbage. We did get a second mortar maw, which is great. Um, This is garbage, right? Like, I got it way early. Like, I just, I don't. Why would you put this in your deck? Like, it's good for maybe a new player who wants to try to get something that they might not have that could be random. Um, it's just way too RNG. It just, it just seems like a weird card. It, it doesn't make sense. It was like, Vanar maybe needed just an extra card to compete with the other ones. So they're like, well, we could do this. I just, I don't get the card. I, it doesn't even seem to fit in the overall expansion. Like, it just doesn't. <gasps> we got another Panda card. All right. Okay. So, Gauntlet is a very good point. Um, turns Maybe if you get some really sh crummy cards, you could... Uh... Yeah. So, that, that makes sense. I don't... I still don't think it's good. I think good strong word. I think there are better cards. That's true. So, yeah, I guess it could be used on both sides.
Wanderlust is a card that I think is going to be good. Um, because there, there's a card. It's what a uh, avalanche that just it deals a ton of damage to minions on your side of the board. It currently just doesn't get played. Um, I never see anybody run avalanche. Um, so this could be a good way to trigger avalanche. Um. originally it's one then it goes to two and then it goes to three or four does it double every time so it goes one two three or does it go one two i think it's one two three now i think i'm just confusing myself after way too long of streaming um but yeah i think wanderlust is a pretty good card and it's going to allow for um avalanche to get played and reliably be able to trigger avalanche it does technically increase avalanche's cost for a successful play but it does let you control avalanche um which i think has it has some potential um another horned mask <clears throat> it's a lot of white come on commons we don't need you guys we have all of you Blue. Beast clad hunter. Yes. <coughs> I need lots of beast clads. I think that I think that's the final one. I don't know. If, that should be the third one that we needed. So we're just I think we're just looking for epics and legendaries at this point. Another beast clad. So if we were missing any, we are now full. Permafrost. Again, I think Permafrost is a really cool card. Um, I like that if it's properly played, you can even lock down the general. Because um, it's stun an enemy minion, stunned enemy minions, stun a nearby enemy. Um, I don't know if that means that it will like lightning bolt like a thunderhorn, where it can like go boop, 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 boop. Or if like you hit the enemy and that enemy would stun correlating minions um around it or if it actually could stagger off if it can like ping off like a thunderhorn uh it's even more crazy especially considering it's an early game card and it definitely has a lot of possibility especially with the artifact for the reactivate your general after killing a stun enemy there's, there's a lot of cool potential for this card like really cool potential yeah. Frost artifacts is a board clear. Just wipe everything. What is the second artifact? Legendary. Coal fist, coal fist, meltwater moose, wither, another ego. Another Scarab. That gives us all three Scarabs. Um, it's a cool looking card. And it's a really, really powerful, crazy card. The Scarab Bite is awesome. Like, <clears throat> it's awesome. I have no idea how many Legendaries I've pulled. Quite a bit. I pulled... I opened 150 Orbs. I didn't count. I didn't count how many I actually opened. One reactivates your general. Kills anything that is stunned before damage. Yeah, so that's crazy. Bone Crusher. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't keep track. I should have kept track of how many I opened. Um... I didn't. I can check. Uh, I can actually filter it out. So when I'm all done, I'll see how many legendaries I got. Because I think I can filter it out in the search. Wanderlust. I want to say like at least 20. I want to say I got at least 20 legendaries. Um, that seems low. That doesn't seem that great. Usually I count them as I open them up. Um... I got distracted with the stream. 
all of the new stuff I've been doing. I do like streaming, though. I actually, I was, like, really hesitant on doing it because it was a factor in me quitting the first time. Um, I've talked about that in the past, though. So, but I've got the best mods in the world, and they're not going to let my little feelings get hurt. <laughs> Scarzig! Just proof. So, Huskuske and Scarzig are like cards that are proof that I'm streaming on the wrong service. <laughs> oh, I want a ghosty card so bad. Scarzig looks like he could have been a battle pet too, though. Just saying. Just saying. But it's super cool. And it it's a really cute little card. Prong block. Sell soul mirrorim. This dude. I think synaptic arbitrage ab arb itage. I don't even know how to pronounce the word, but I think that is a really good card. I think there's a lot of potential. I think that it's a really bad card to an unskilled player. Um such as myself. Um, but I do think that this card has an immense amount of potential to a skilled player similar to lost in the desert lost in the desert is a card that like an un i think an unskilled player uh doesn't truly know how to like maximize and doesn't see like the true potential um deal six damage to any to any enemy that is not near another enemy is when you think about it not good because you have to be able to control the enemy positioning but when you put into the fact that Vetruvian can do that, and most factions can actually do that um, with different cards cards that move minions. Um, Vetruvian's great because it has cards that can put cards back into their hand. It has you can put Repulsor Beast in. Um, I think that this is a very similar card to that, um, where if properly done, like, if the enemy general... Like, it's the opposite of Lost in the Desert. If your opponent is keeping all of their minions together, you get the ability of snagging them. And you give them a minion. So, like, you can run your minion in, rush something in, like a dervish, run it right inside of it. Um, downside is a dervish, you wouldn't see the full effect. So... Like I said, it's it's one of those cards that definitely is going to require a skilled hand. But I, I think the card is really cool. And I, I can't wait to see how it kills me at some point. <laughs> um, Vitruvian has some of the coolest, like, oh shit moments when I've played them. Like, so it'll be interesting to see some of the new cards. I still like this card. I think this is a pretty good card. A two cost. Granted... A two cost two three would have been much better stat wise, um, but it's a low cost arcanist, and a truly low cost neutral arcanist is one of the biggest things I think the arcanist decks have been missing. Um, prior to this, there weren't a lot of low low drop arcanists. You have Circulus, um, but it's a one one, eh, for two, which isn't great anything can kill it it can get pinged um it's it's just really not a great card and its effect isn't all that great whereas i don't know what brilliant plume is i think it's deal one damage or heal one damage uh i think it's heal one damage but either way it's just a better card all around and it's a turn one drop that you can get out onto the board um and the plume is going to allow you, because it is a one-cost card, it's going to allow you to continue to be able to proc stuff. Um, I think this is a really good card. If you guys agree or disagree, give me a pumpkin. If you agree, give me a pumpkin. Um, or just tell me why you agree. That works too. Boop. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cough now. What's up? How's it going? You made it! You made it! Before I open the final 11 orbs and get off of my stream. 
But thanks for swinging by, man. Thank you. Deep impact. Wither. I don't know what's over 9,000, but... Jittering Miriam. Come on. We need them mad legendaries. We have 10 more orbs. 10 more orbs. 9 more orbs. Nine more. Come on. Where are those legendaries? Ah! I feel like this card should have card text. It doesn't have to do anything. I just feel like I really wanted this card to have card text. Like, just say, yeah, on the card. Like, yeah. Or, oh, yeah, like the Kool-Aid man, like... Something on the card, like, to just give him, a, like, a little bit something extra. Oh, game, you're killing me. You're killing me here. Kitty! Ooh, I like that. I like the way he glimmers. That's nice. I really do. I like this card. I think it's a legitimate card. I could be completely wrong. I think... I think it needed more hit points, like... It could have been a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, ah, nom, nom, nom. Coffee, why are you cold? I need you. Ooh, a new card. Magmar, new artifact. Your eggs have force field. Thank you. Thank you. To truly maximize the future of the extinction event, Zoetic Charm is a must. I think. I think that card's crazy. Granted, you're not going to be running Magmar for that deck anyway. You're definitely going to be running the the Egg Dude. Well, I don't even know if I've unlocked. I think I've unlocked him. I hope I've unlocked him. Mr. Ripper Egg himself. Wanderlust Orb Rider. Live, live stream. Chittering Tiller. Another Meditate. We got a lot of Meditates. Ah, oh, thank you. Legendary. Hello. How are you? Best drinker invigoration. I still think this card is phenomenal. But it, it I just, it's good. There's no way around it. It's just a fantastic card. Um, did you heal three for two? By the time it becomes four cost, you've healed uh, nine. And by the time you've hit six cost... You'll have healed your general for a total of 18 health. Um, for a total of 6 mana. Which is uncomparable to any other healing that I can think of in the game. Uh, yeah. like It's nice that it's for Magmar. I don't know if every Magmar deck will run this. Um, it definitely will fit nicely in any Magmar deck that currently runs Earth Sphere. Because it, it's, a, it's a solid card. Yes! I needed you. I got the other Magmar card. Orapisasar. A, the art is phenomenal. B, it is a grow minion that can take a freaking hit for three, which is fantastic. Um, a lot of the issues with the grow minions that I've had is they die so quick. Um, and then it also buffs other grow minions whenever another friendly minion with grow survives damage that minion grows um the downside is it's whenever another like that is a very important keyword um but he's just so cute like look at him he's just he's adorable and i want three of them we have five more orbs and the devs are hiding behind the code, and they're going to give me two more of these little dudes because they are adorable. All right? Adorable. I don't get my own card, but you guys can give me three of them. Come on. Come on. He's so cute. And he's like maybe one of the only grow cards that might not be garbage. And he's a grow, he's a grow card 
that does not require you to be running a grow deck to play, which I think is one of the biggest factors for him. Um, another Lodestar. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's like, I like the art. Lodestar is awesome. Like, the art on the card is fantastic. Wraith Crown. That. Hello. Next. Another legendary. That's it. They're going to do it. They're going to give me another one right here. Oh, it was a Magmar card, though. Also, a crazy, crazy powerful card. Like, a 4 cost 7 6. Like, whenever this minion takes damage, your opponent draws a card. That's. I'm fine with that. I think most players are going to be fairly okay with that. Um, to get a. Four cost seven six out on the board so early. I think most players are going to be more than okay with their opponent getting a little bit of card draw because it's terrifying and you can't silence it out of its attack. You kind of just have to kill it. Um, granted, there are you know one hit kills, so you're, um, but it's. This card is crazy. It's it's an incredibly powerful card. And, like, it, it's one of those things where I want so many of the Magmar faction cards, even though Venar is my favorite faction. I'm the I, the best I, that I play has been with the Magmar faction. And I'm really excited to get more of these. That's true. That's a that's an interesting way of looking at it. It's powerful as shit. Like it it's it's a crazy powerful card. Um and it's it's one of those cards where you don't even have to be playing Starhorn for this card to be good. Um Like you would think that you could maybe put it into Starhorn and like mulligan your opponent um and like burn their deck with like enough of these like just and then you put the uh blazing or whatever it is the the thing that burns th each player draws three cards um like there's a lot of ways to like just wreck cards inside of starhorn and the Ma general magmar faction like it's crazy i wish it had russian frenzy and when you accomplish the quest, it gets Russian Frenzy, and it becomes a god card. God card. It's so good. Like, the Magmar faction card is bonkers. It is crazy. Like, the quest card, sorry. And, like, when I think about the quest card, I look at things like Mortar Maw, and I'm like, yo, Mortar Maw with Frenzy... I don't even know how that would work because it's basically built into the card. But, like, Frenzy or Rush is what Mortarmaw needs to be spectacular. Um, same with Thunderhorn. Thunderhorn is spectacular with Rush. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, it's crazy. It, it's It's mind boggling how crazy some of the combinations could be. Another shiny moose. Another gargantuan. What do we got now? No legendary, but we did get an epic. We have one more orb. Cryonic potential, painful pluck. Aurora's prophet and bolster. Malicious wisp. Final orb. Come on, guys. I need all of you at home right now to wish me all of the luck come on we need legendaries right here all five cards must be a legendary i'll take one i'll i'll i will gladly accept one legendary as long as ah uh, i can't wait to put this like it's gonna be really funny running this card when i was so wrong about the card here we go this is it. This is it.
I'm happy with that. It's going to go right into a Vetruvian deck. That gives me two of them. It's nice. Nice. All right, let's see. Um, a filter. Trials of Mithron. You can't search just by legendary. Can you? Can you just type legendary? Does that work? You can. All right, so we got two or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Uh, 26, 27, 29 legendaries total um, from the orb opening. Not all that bad. Look at that. We got 10 of these dudes. Disenchant extras. Let's see what our total dust hall is. Spirit hall. I'm always going to screw that up. If it doesn't crash the game. Another 3,710. So, it's not bad. And then when I go through and break down all the prismatics, which I'm definitely not going to do on stream. I'll do it free time. So, yeah, 29 legendaries. Is that what I said? 29, 27? I don't even know. I need a nap. Um, yeah, it's not a bad haul. And then my uh, spirit's not refreshing, but it should. There we go. Um, and then when I go through and I break down all of the prismatics that I don't need and I go through and gut the Shimzar expansion for all the bad cards that just I would never for any logical reason play uh, I think did they take the actual orbs for Shimzar out of the game like are they just gone gone um, that would be another question I would have can I even get the orbs anymore so you can still buy the orbs um, they should put something here telling you that this set is no longer like there should be a thing saying, Hey, this set is no longer allowed in standard. Um, right. There should be some sort of disclosure saying these cards. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. There should be something here saying, yo, these cards aren't allowed to be played in standard. They've been rotated out. Um, if they're going to continue letting you buy them. I don't even think... I think Hearthstone just takes the cards out of the game and you can no longer even get them um, unless you craft them. I think they still exist in the book. But I don't think you can purchase them anymore. So, there should definitely be some sort of warning saying that this set is no longer allowed... There's no link either for the Mithron set saying view all cards in the set. Which is weird because they are all up on the site to my knowledge. But I can't think of a better way to end the stream than like finally just doing it. Definitely not going to waste all my spirit on it. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to play Faye. I, just, I don't know how powerful Faye is going to be in the expansion. But it's a good way to end the stream. It's true. Right. They can be used. Um, so it's... Uh, so now they have unranked play and it's unlimited where you can play any cards from the collection and then you have season ladder um but i think that you should there should be a a discretion saying you can't use the cards purchased in this expansion um in constructed ladder um and hearthstone's wild and constructed are very I think Hearthstone's constructed in a ladder are better than Duelist currently, um, because they have they have a wild construct uh, ranked and unranked, and then they have a construct like a ladder ranked and unranked, like a constructed focus. Whereas Duelist, 
they they only have a season ladder and then they have unranked which is unlimited i think that there should be an unranked standard um it's like i don't i'm surprised that they didn't add something like that i understand that by doing this they already broke up their potential player base again so now there's one two three queues for players to have to queue up and actually play against each other um and splitting it again and putting two here two here and then one here five queues for players to have to go up against like the game already has a little bit of an issue sometimes with queue times and the player base is definitely nowhere near what hearthstone is so i understand why they haven't gone that route um but it would have been nice at least for constructed to have some sort of a playground um where you can play something smarter than a bot and not worry about having your your ladder rank beaten down um go scarzig but yeah, we got, we got tons of new cards. And I'm going to go through. I'm going to break them down. But this is, I think, where I'm going to wrap up the video um, in the stream. I need some sleep. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun tonight. And I'm enjoying streaming far more than I was anticipating. And that's great. That's actually really good. Because um, if I can do content that doesn't take a lot of production as well um after on top of it it'll let me balance out my content between youtube and like actual content and the rest of the stuff there so thank you all very much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did or the stream or the video depends on when and how you're watching this um if you did please give it a like give it a share it's been a lot of fun thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me open up all of my new orbs and just having a blast and talking through the new cards um it's been a lot of fun it really has been so yeah thank you all so much um it's really cool consistently have you guys show up and watch me talk for what is now going on three hours which is mind-boggling considering that's an hour per 50 orbs which is crazy to me um but yeah thank you all very much for watching the stream i hope you guys have a wonderful evening wonderful afternoon whenever you're watching this or wherever you are in the world if it's still sunny where you are congratulations <laughs> so thank you all very much um i guess and as always till the next video